I heard something like, oh, nah, Conejo ain't on this. Homie, homie capped already. I'm on that level. That's right. The fuck you boy. talking about, you That's know? That's right. I'm over here dealing with people you're never going to get to be around. You yes, a sir. rapper. Yes, That's sir. it, homie. I'm, I'm, I'm more than that. All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the American Troll Podcast. Today, we actually have a, a special episode for you. So prepare yourself to go on an incredible gangster journey like no other. Our next guest is a rap artist, actor, and former fugitive on the run. He's a Los Angeles icon. Uh, he, is, he has released over 100 albums, and many of those were while on the run with his daughter in Mexico. Please welcome the Chicano rap king, Conejo. What's going hey, on, player? What's up? What's, what's going on, everybody? How you doing, Finally. Conejo? Finally, homeboy. La neta, la. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> good, good things come those away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I have to be right setting, right place, right time. And right now... Was, we we there it's, yeah. it's time for that you that's know? that's right brother and i i appreciate you I, I appreciate the homie prime back there behind the scenes man let everybody know that make this happen we've been you know we've been discussing this for, for a minute yeah, something like that right yeah yeah the whole time we've been recording the new album the <laughs> that, reset the same amount of time and we'll and we'll get into that so let's just jump right into this man where were you born and raised at homeboy i was born right here at the at the queen of angels hospital right here in la it's like a it's like a nun hospital it's like a catholic like so I guess my parents didn't have no money, and my dad, my mom was ready to go, and my dad just ran into a, some nuns on the street and was like, we don't have nothing. And they're like, bring her right here, and I was born right there. They, they film uh, Nightmare on M Street. That's the, the boiler room. Really? Pretty cool shit. They did. I don't know. I'm not now. No, no but I'm saying, but you, that's where you were born at. I was born right there, Queen of Angels Hospital. Wow, so you were one of the general hospital babies like everybody else. <laughs> nah, nah, could have been, but, but like, I guess my parents didn't know how to communicate. So where, where were your parents originally from? They're from the state of Jalisco. So in the Jalisco. And I guess my, like basically my family, my family uh, started showing up here in the 50s and the 60s. I was born in the 70s. I grew up in the 80s. And I just started like doing my dirt all through the 90s until like whenever. How many uh, brothers and sisters do you have? So a, a bunch of them. Oh, you guys are deep like that, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look, first, my, I just come from, a, I'm going to explain. My, my, my grandma, my grandpa had 21 kids. Wow. So that goes through my whole family. So we're like, you know, we're just a big, big, big family. It, it was a, a bunch of Mexicanos in, in one house, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we start we start um, spreading out. We all came to LA, right? Then um, the first move went to Southgate. A group went to Southgate. Then my mom and her sisters, we they landed in Van Nuys. And then um, next thing you know, they're in Paris. Not. France, but <laughs> Paris over here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Y este, luego tan llegaron a Vegas, y now we're like in Florida, we're everywhere now, you know. Now, like, was it hard for your parents like to keep up with you guys as far as like, uh, you know, because you got so many kids and, and obviously what you're saying, they, they didn't have that much money, so it wasn't like you guys were in sports and all that stuff. Nah, but you know what? I don't know. I think it was just different back then. I, it's not that they didn't care, but it was just different because right now, like my daughter's like, let me, let me walk to Starbucks. I'm like, fuck no. I'll take you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y antes, my shit was just come to eat and don't, no te pases midnight type 11. And we would just be out all over LA. Like we were right here, West Adams, but we'll be in Venice Beach during the day. Santa Monica, Culver City, skating. We're like, we're, you know, we're like LA kids, like bike riding, jacking on the, bikes. On the RTD, homeboy. On the RTD. <laughs> if it wasn't, me acuerdo que we'll make fake bus passes. Nos daban el dinero because really? I remember uh, the, the RTD bus pass at one point was like $7. Yeah, yeah, for the mother or shit, right? And, and then, but what we'll do, we'll photocopy one. And then since we were into graffiti and all that, we had all the, the, the what we call prism, the markers. Uh-huh. We will make bus, we'll color it identical. So we keep the <laughs> seven, nine dollars and we'll just be everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. In the, in the, you know, that was the shit back then, you know, on the RTD. That's right. So uh, it was like a mobile skid row and shit, you know? So were you a lot into the, into the, Tagging scene, or was it your homies, or how, how did that come about with I you? I think I think everybody was like, when when LA like people just wanted to fucking destroy property. I think and or, I, no, I think it was more they wanted to have their name out there. Yeah, they, they yeah, wanted recognition. Yeah, they want recognition, and 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 I think like kind of like hip hop played a, a like a big influence on it. But then like the LA taggers were a little bit different. You know, there was taggers that were like up, that were up. Like let's just say um. Whisk, uh, Sleaze, rest in peace, este, Triax. There's just so many ones Chaka. that were like up, Chaka, and they would just 
like, big old placasos. Yeah, and, and, and us... We were just like scribing on the on the windows and get un pinche mean streak and but I don't know but it was like um yeah we, I got into the tagging for a little bit. What, what was the name, homeboy? I was I was new one. I new new one? Yeah, N E W. <laughs> what was the name of the crew? It was R N S Rat Nuts. Look, it's crazy for us because our our we had a skate crew called Rat Nuts. They used to skate too. Yeah, I used to skate. That's so, right. So our and then I was from um M B T. Some crew that I think they became a gang at, like way after. Okay. At one point, like a <laughs> gang as a matter of fact. Really? Form. Yeah. But MBT era, eran was todos, and esos días eran todos. It, it was every all kind of races. Yeah, because 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 back in the day, like it would be like like dudes would be they'll belong to like ten tank crews. Ah, you know what I'm really? saying? Like okay. they'll be from this one, this one, this one. Que AOB, que this, que you know you'll be from all, all these tank crews. MBT was just like a like a sort of like a South Central tagging crew that was just deep and, and that was rowdy. before all the racial stuff really kicked in and yeah all yeah yeah because i remember um we would ditch school and we would go to hp to the dollar movie theater estaban todos los ways there there was another crew neck with mbt it was called nts and it was the same a lot of them became um uh a lot of them became uh florence's oh, wow really you know like the, uh -huh. these tagging crews they were just Depends, you know, depends where, where you are. Yeah, it's like anything else. It's just like even different tankers can become different gangs at the time. It's like even like, like, like I mentioned Sleaze. Like, I just always seen Sleaze up, but like later I find out he was from White Fence. I was like, oh shit, really? really? Yeah. Yeah, you know, from the ones yeah. right in Hollywood. So uh, I was like, um, you know, yeah, tagging was around. That's it right. It was just bombing were, shit. Were you, were, you, were you doing ollies on your, on your skateboard, everything, homeboy? Everything. We had a half pipe that was like famous. It was right there on, on um, Vermont and 22nd. Every, they show, um, I don't know if you know um, Fabian, the actor. Yes, yes, of he, course. He just came out. He's yeah, from, 18th, from Street. 18th Street. Yeah. So when he came out, he told me, he was like, yeah, what's up with, um, what's up with Wero? Wero is Veneno. Okay. So he's like, man, I, I was from Rad Nuts. You know, I used to skate with y'all. <laughs> and I was like, what? I'm, I'm, I told him, like, I was from Rad Nuts. I'm like, where? And he starts telling me all the ramps. So it was like, we had a half pipe on 22nd in Vermont. And there was one on 28th in Vermont, a big one. So he knew everything. So we're like, oh, shit. We're like. Did you ever hit the half pipe? All the time. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. To, there, was, there was a big ass half pipe right here in Culver City that we would come. I remember que, que veníamos todos, like, todos de acá. We'll skate all day. Yeah, when it was time to leave, we'll start jacking fools. So we still have, we, we jack for skateboards and, you know, we have those little, oh, the, you know, those little Dodger baseball bats. Oh, yeah, ones. for sure, homie, for sure, the little so, ones. Give me that shit. Vámonos, let me get that, let yeah. me get that Tony Hawk or Bikes, <laughs> like, Cabal era. Yeah, yeah, and we just. What, what was your favorite skateboard back then? Man, there was so many, like, I mean, man, there was so many. I just remember, like, like. Que una vez este, I came up on this one. Era, un, era el Bones, el Pau Peralta. Oh, yeah, the one that was, was ripping badass, out. I had yes. came up on that shit. I, well, I had came up on this other one. And I did this low-key trade. Y me, y me, me fui para Mexico. Because back then, um, like, I had a big family. Right. So all my family would caravan to, to Guadalajara, to Jalisco, every year. Like 10, 15 cars. Deep. So I did this move. Came up. I did a trade. Y me fui para allá. Y me acuerdo que, que my pops marcó para allá. He's like, when you get back, te voy a poner una chinga. <laughs> ya, ya vinieron aquí a reclamar un patín. <laughs> un but, patín. But, but they described some other one, you know? They didn't describe the one. And I was like, nah. I was like, you know. You how was, how was your relationship with your father? It was, it, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of rowdy, but I mean. Was it because of you? Was it because of him? Both of nah, you? Nah, well, I think they, they had it worse. Of course, it, it, it was of a, course. They had a, it was a different time for them. Then we come over here. And, you know, he's fucking up. So it's like, you know, there's lead way, right? There's wiggle room right. to do shit. And then he's not liking it. He's catching it. But, I mean, I think, like, in those days, you pensó que everybody used to get fucked up by their dad. Yeah, of course. I, oh, and their mom, you know? It, it was a different time. Yeah, right? it's like, now it's like, you try to hit a case, like, man, I'll call the cops on you. <laughs> Pretty much. Homeboy. I'll call ch ch children's services on your ass. Your, your own, I mean, she better not tell me that shit. I'll... <laughs> I'll Whoop her ass. I'll go over the board and whoop her ass. <laughs> you know, but, but, um. How about your mom? What kind of relationship would you have with your mom? A good one. I, you know, moms is always like, that's right. you know, that's moms that's always. Yeah. You can't even do though, wrong. even though, you know, Pac, how he bump heads with his mom, same shit, bump heads, but at the end of the day, that's moms, that's no matter fun. what she's going through, you know, and, and you somehow, like, naturally, you understand. Yeah. You get it. You see your pain, you're like, fuck. 
Yeah. Mom's going through some shit. That's right. I'm you know, and, and, and so, but uh, it's cool. She just called me right now a little, right before you came. She you're, you're, you'll always here, be here, baby. Yeah, yeah, It doesn't matter yeah, how yeah. old you are. That's how mom's seen you, right? Cuando, cuando I was gone, it was, it was kind of tough. That it made, see, look, when, you're, when you become an inmate, your whole family becomes an inmate with you. And we'll, and we'll, and we'll get to that part right yeah. now. But let, now let's go into... Um, you're, you're going... No, no, I still want to hear a little more of the skating thing. Dude. Yeah, When yeah. was the first time... Because the reason I think I was a horrible skater. I was that guy on my knee fucking doing this. Fool. Yeah, yeah, I, could, yeah. I, I mean, couldn't skate. My life depended on it. I wasn't, I wasn't the best. That was better. No, but... That was the, better. When you, you... You go into the half pipe. Yeah. How was it going down the half pipe? When the first time, dude? I mean, how many times did you eat it before you finally landed? A bunch of times. <laughs> Even when I knew how to ride you it. Like, <laughs> a veces, you know, it'll slide out of control. You know, como están las plywoods. Yeah. And then from riding them so much, then we got like, nah, esta mala, vamos a poner masonite. La, la masonite, yeah. You know, make smoother. it smooth. Make it smoother, That's you right. know. But at first, we we ain't knowing. We just. You're learning. We're like, we're build, we built this shit. So. Because skating was new back then. It wasn't yeah. something like now. It was brand new. Y, y me acuerdo que, que I remember they were on. Um, I don't know what they were building. They were, we we're getting ready to build this ramp, so I'm almost stealing wood from everywhere. But I mean, like, from construction sites. <laughs> and over there on um, Olympic and Vermont, I don't know if it's still there or what, or if that's what was built, but they were building something on the corner. So all of a sudden, you see up Vermont, you go down Vermont, a bunch of kids holding plywoods coming down on skateboards. <laughs> you know, the 21 footers, the, 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 the two by fours. Un chingo de pure little kids, you know? Oh, that's Because we great. must have been like 13. Yeah, Maybe some of, the, some of the, the homies the were old, probably like 15. Right. You know, but you were all they, kids. Yeah, they all varied. Y luego, me acuerdo que había un homie que ese güey, su, su mamá le prestaba una station wagon, them old long ones, you know? Right. Y también, loading that shit up. Like, we'll go to job sites and just go in there. We'll still even, nos chingamos las cajas de nails. Yeah, to make it. Pop, 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 pop. So, you know, vienen como, they look like a fucking... Pinche some Pancho Villa shit, you know? You know which ones, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you guys use them, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The, so, the role is yeah, all the, Yeah, so, so you know, and and I forgot how, but we, you know, we built the sides, and then we just laid all the but two you, were, you know what the crazy part is? You guys were breaking the law, but you guys were being positive, believe it or not. You yeah. guys were being constructive, because yeah, yeah. you guys were just looking to get a ramp, because back then the city, they were look, actually, skateboarders were looked at as like, almost like pests. They didn't want skateboarders. They thought you guys were messing up the streets and all that. But you yeah, guys yeah. were actually doing something positive. Y Lopez, we grew up right there in um, USC. Right. So, like, de vez en cuando, there'll be an empty pool. Because we used to go pool hopping every summer, every Man. year. Nos metemos Conejo a los dorms. Pool hopping, huh? we'll go, everybody would do that. You know, we'll go in there, like, llegaba el manager, and there'll be, like, 30 kids in a little-ass pool. Like, <laughs> like, they're, like, little peanut-shaped pools. 30 kids in there, he, it just like, you know. Just having fun. Oh having boy. fun. Having fun. Rebelling a little bit, but having yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y luego me acuerdo que un día, este, you know, they'll, they'll push fools in there. And I, we would even put a ramp. We would take a little ramp on a bike, jump and <laughs> land inside the pool. Like, la, la, what? That's when the movie Rad was out and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so you guys yeah. were doing that stuff, yeah. right? Y este, we're like, man, there's a little laundry man right here and they're drying clothes. What? And they're USC students. Oh, shit. They got some Levi's. <sighs> USC jersey? Oh, man, I'm taking this shit. So that was our new... <laughs> that was our new we, hustle. Because we used to take bikes from USC. Antes in USC, no, no via. They didn't... They, in USC, the bikes were just like that. Beach cruisers all day. So nosotros llegamos... It was a trusty world back then. Yeah, so like, like after school, it'd be like, like um, ah, let's go get a bike. And we'll go wander off into like the village. There was a thing called the village right there in, mm -hmm. in USC. So I had movie theaters, all this stuff. Wendy's, y que we'll go in there. As soon as we seen a bike, oh, that one, mamamonos. And then later they'll put that lock on the front tire. So we'll just take unas, unas pinzas and we'll take off the front tire and take an extra tire. <laughs> and, then, and then they start putting it in the middle. And then we have bolt cutters and we're just like. And then the U locks came in. Yeah, and then it went from there to like um, scooters because they, they had scooters. That's right. So it's just going to big ass flat screwdriver, un martillo. And then Antaos <laughs> Anand and scooters. And then it just. Now, all this, all this time that this is going on... And this is like, we have long hair. Everybody's a stoner. We right. all have long hair. We're all like, you know, like... Straight, skate or die, brother. Yeah, and, and, and at the same... Like, I, I don't know what year this was. It had to be like in the 80, mid-80s. Because I'm, I'm thinking it's after the Olympics. 84 was the Olympics. Yeah, so, so 85, 86. Yeah, around there. So, entonces, este... I remember um, right there in the neighborhood, pues, empieza a salir un, un, these little football teams. 
Okay. These little football teams start popping up, and that was like the new shit. And then right there we're at, the football team was called Dead End. That's what I was going to ask you. you, you had, they, they had the football team called Dead End, and they had the, I think also, was it the Wild Bunch too? They had Wild Bunch. They had the, right there where we're at, they had one called Network. And, and what Scorpions. was it? Was it just guys in high schools or guys in certain blocks? Nah, they were just from all over. And they were like, I mean, I was skinny as fuck. And you were a kid. kid. I couldn't you play were football. The older but we would it. go. We would go. Yeah, of like, course. Oh, okay. okay man, I'm they would play like a... The uh, wild boys are going to play. The dead uh, are going to go play. Yeah, they'll play against like other football teams that end up Before becoming Before they hood. became gangs, right. So they'll go play and or oh, we'll hear about it. It'll be like... It's almost like a... It's, it remi- you know what it reminds me of? You remember the Warriors movie in yeah. New York? It kind of reminds me yeah. of that. When it all kind of began. It started and then... And then um, in those days, well, that came in. Fusto had long hair, but now it's getting like slicked back a little bit and it's okay. long. And now it's going to like burgundy Coloroids. Get the los venden. You go to Swami and they crease them up for you. They yeah, sew them in. Huevo. And then you put your name right here. They'll like sew in your, your name on the side, like, you know, whatever. So, so they started putting the... Like, fila fila um, the, the sweaters right. with the stripes on the side and the, like... Yeah, yeah, you know, of course. The white ones and, and you know. Now, did, did every football team have like their own colored jersey or their own colors? Yeah, De- Dead End's jersey was all black, baby blue letters with the white outline. That's right. That was a dead, that was a dead end jersey. Wild Punch was, uh, it's kind of white, off, off white. I think it was kind of grayish. And, and by the time, Harpies is already an established hood. They, they've been there the whole, Right, whole they've life. been there, but it, it hadn't exploded. Like every gang in LA hadn't yeah, really I exploded think it, as it, much. Yeah, I think it kind of like. Like, I think a lot of gangs kind of have phased out around that time. Like, it wasn't popular. They were around because we would always see them. I knew, we knew them all the time. But they wouldn't mess with you guys or anything as nah, far as No, because we knew them. Because, okay. Be, because um, even like, okay, because at the same time, uh, breakdancing comes in, right? That's right. So all this is going on. So I remember, like, I remember um, one of the homies, uh, I don't know if you ever met him. He's a white baby. He is the... Este way llegaba, he was from Harpies, he was G'd up and everything. Well, everybody be breakdancing, este way llegaba, and he'll be like, he'll be like, um, hey, I'm going I'm to break against you, but if you win, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> so I said, we don't pinch it, man, it's the society. <laughs> He's a white baby, fool. Yeah, y ese way, yeah, you know, he was already banged out. This fool had like 501s, cuffed, you know, the, the, he the Chuck the He had the stilo. Gray crew neck sweater, his hair was slicked back, pocket comb. Little hair in it. Yeah, ya estaba, ese güey estaba en cholo, you know? Right, right. So all these three things, um, I think they, I think in a way they like kind of combined. Right. And then, um, and then like Dead End was just, Dead End is really like, a lot of the Dead End were really like little brothers of, of Harpies. Okay. They're all, we're, we're like family with them. Like, oh, pues mi, mi tío's de Harpies. It, pues it's the same neighborhood. All right. So they, it's like, it came together. And it just, like, the gang shit exploded right after that. And it, I guess it's the same time, get cracked and, and the weapons and all these things. Like, it just... Because you, the area you came was one of the most violent areas in Los Angeles, right? I mean, it seems like the the murder rate in your area was, I mean, it was off the charts, man. In the in Like, from 87, 88 yeah. to the 90s, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And how, how much of that did you experience did you see yourself like firsthand? Uh, I think, well, I think all of it. I think, um, like, look, like and I've mentioned this before. In 91, mataron 17 homies That's in one year. That's insane, homie. That's insane. And every, but every year, mataban como 13, 12, 15. Like, it, it like, like little, you know, little graph or whatever. It would go up and down. But I think 91 was the biggest, like 17 homies in one year. That And, and how did, I mean, when you were young... <sighs> Did it really, did you think, because now as you're older, you have, you have a daughter, you have kids. Yeah. That's like, dude, that's a lot of lives. Yeah, yeah, Back yeah. then, but back then you weren't seeing it like that at all? I don't think so. I think, um, I think we're so deep. We're just so deep. Que se murió un homie and then we'll be at this funeral and everybody's like, you it's know, like having a good part time. Of the program, right? Yeah. And then, and then, it, like, well, yeah, you go get, get back. And then back to normal program. And then, porque, like, it, like in, in my hood, honestly, like, I could just drive you and be like, ahí mataron a un homie. Ahí mataron tres. Because I, I always remember que, pues, you know how Mexicans, how we do We pinches candles. Los verorios y todo. Yeah, ponen, like, where, where a fool dies, there's some shit right there, you know? Right, right. little picture, a little something, you know. A memorial a, for them. Yeah, a little memorial for them. So I've seen those everywhere wow. around the hood, you know? Y, 
You, you just become desensitized to that? Like it wasn't really hurting you as much anymore? I think so. I mean, I don't, I, you know, I, when you're out there, you're just out there. I don't, I don't know if you, you might. I mean, I think if it's your boy, your boy, you're close. Right. Yeah, you, you're going to feel something. Yeah, but I think the longer you go on it, the more, it's almost like you're just in war. And... Yeah, yeah. And then like you, you know, you kind of strategize. You start like, you know, like, yeah, you, you're like hip to it, you know? Because I remember, um, there was this one time, right? There was this thing they called the party line. I don't even remember it. You would, you would call this number. <laughs> of course. Hang up and redial. Gang, the party. Meet me over here. Yeah, you're trying so, to pick up some chicks. So, so you would like hang up and redial. Hasta que te, uh, oh, you <laughs> so just answered the party line, right? Ya <laughs> entrabas. <laughs> I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, seven, ten to ten people yeah, in there. Yeah, of course. And everybody had like a persona like, hey, what's, what's up? up, loco? Yeah, hey, yeah. Homie. And then, oh, you hear a female's voice. <laughs> it's like catfishing fools, right? <laughs> Puro catfishing yeah. fools. Yes, there. I remember like, like um, being on there, like you know, being young and man, telling them, look, tonight we're gonna be right there on um, 28th and Bolan, mm -hmm. right in the apartments. Guy Come through, yeah. And, sure. and, and fools would come through, and fools would come through, and we wait for and them. It was, like, it was like a sport. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a sport. Yes. E e este. E but you know, but I, we seen some group like we seen homies die like some gruesome shit where I we bet. pull up and. You know, like, una vez este, okay, so we used to kick it on, um, we had harpies, we had a, we had a gang of, like, a gang of spots. And then, yeah, and how, then many, how many different cliques did you guys have? Okay, look, harpies, because there's dudes that are just from harpies. Okay. But that, the, the, and then there's dead end, and then the dead end split up into the dudes, the tokers, tiny locals, All little right. towns, this, this, like, they break up into, like that, but... But and in, in the hood is the hood. I.e., you could you you could. Yeah, but the hood is the hood. But how many different spots? Like in other words, Again, I'm gonna go to the dead ends. The dead ends over here. I'm gonna nah, go to, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they it had, had to that. be different parts yeah, of the they, hood, they, right? They, they had that. There was a spot once in Tanto Los Chicos, but but like there was certain of us that we could go to any spot because we grew up with a lot of them. So I I could go to the Chicos and kick it with the Chicos all day, and then ah, let's go to the Tokers, and then we'll go to the Tokers. How big, were, of, how big of an area you were? What did you guys have? And in these times, we were from um, we were from Washington, all the way to Figueroa. How many blocks? Is no, that? no, no. From from uh, from from Washington all the way to King. That's a big ass chunk. Okay. And then um, from like Normandy, and then in some parts like Western, all the way to Figueroa. And what what surrounded your guys' neighborhood as far as other gangs? Um, um like on one side we had a. Uh, like enemies, we had a we had a King Boulevard 18. Okay. Right there where the King Swami was at, those a little area. They had those apartments right inside the Coliseum. One was a big one, and the other one was a big eight. Like <laughs> but this one was huge. That's what they when we, all the gangs would do big. Like this shit was like it was like like taggers. It was competition because the tigers the taggers got into the hoods and then yeah they yeah said, so right. like man we do this fat tips and we right who like, had, who had the biggest placasos in the in the area out there? Let's say the top three. Throwing the big old placasos out there. Um, you know what? Man, I don't want to like sound like fucking, you know, like. It, this is just your opinion. I think, I think us and 18 because, it, because just the way the, the hood was laid out. See, antes hay una, en la pura, ahorita tienes a big, it's a Ralph's, I'm Vermont and Adams. Right. Pero antes ahí era un big ass lot. And that wall was big. That was a huge, it was like a two story wall. So we would, the homies would do big ass colored in. Harpy spelled out the whole wall. You guys get ladders? How'd you guys do Yeah, that? ladders, all that shit. You <laughs> know, trabajar, yeah, cabrones. <laughs> pinches rollers, and then you shade, do the shading with the spray cans. Harpy's painting company. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and 18 was like that too. You know, I mean, but man, I think every gang because... Rockwood used to throw some big black eyes Rockwood too. had like the illest shit. Their shit was like... They were banging, right? Man, their, their, shit? Their, their, their writing was next level, you know? And, and then the Burlington was another gang that their writing was like... They had to like, you know, e, 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 and we would experience this when we would go gang banging and we would see shit like, damn. Even though you're hating on them, like, that shit's fucking badass. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right? So it'd be like, I mean, I don't come back with a fucking fire extinguisher and, you know. <laughs> it was busting your eye, big old black Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it was. So, so, I mean, the, so like I'm saying, it, we had the King Boulevards on this side. Yes. Y un poquito más. On the other side of Manuel están los 1854. Uh, I think they're tiny locals. Right. On the other side of us, we had the Hoover locals, that whole like Pico Union oh, area. Right, okay. And then like right behind us, we had the Drifters, the 23rds. Arribita, por la Pico estaban este, los otros Drifters, I think the 12th Street Drifters. Right. 
Estaban los Easy Riders arribita de nosotros y luego atrás de nosotros hay otros Easy Riders. On, on the back side, like on Western, para atrás. I mean, you guys had a good chunk because a lot of those hoods... They have little... Yeah, dude, little, every, every other, you go to another block, you gangbang yeah, with somebody yeah. else. Us, we had a big, big chunk. We had USC, we had the village, that, so we had our own movie theaters. But even with that big chunk, you guys still took a lot of casualties. No, we took a lot of casualties. A lot of casualties. Um, But you guys also gave it back because you guys had a bunch of homies getting busted as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A gang, a gang of the homies were just like, we were... We it, was just, war, it, it, was it was war, dude. It was war. It was war. I, I think some people don't realize how bad it really was. But when you say you lost 17 homies, was it 17? Yeah. In 91? 91. That's insane. That's an insane amount of numbers. And some people, with, some people who don't really know you, Conejo, don't think you're lying. Because they, they think... It's all right. No, because, no, because they think it's like today. But a hood today to lose 17 homies, that's unheard of. That's their whole hood. That's, that's probably, yeah. that's their whole... Yeah. No, that'll kill a hood right now. If yeah. somebody goes and kills 17 homies in, in one year, that hood, a lot of hoods yeah. will be like, we're done. This is yeah, insane. Yeah. It's too much, yeah. Uh, like I'm saying, like, y antes las gangs pues estaban deep. Yes. No matter what, you know, y, y este, you know, yeah, mataban un homie, but it, it just, it didn't, I don't think it, it affected us. It yeah. wasn't like, like, nah, I'm gonna stop gangbanging. That's it. It was like, it's even more. Yeah. It gave you more incentive. Like now, it's like, oh no, nah, fuck those fools. That's right. E, yes, e, it was. E, e, you know. Now, how did how did you let's let's rewind it a little bit? Yeah. So we got Conejo. He ain't Conejo yet. He's yeah. the he's the guy. He's the guy skating. The he's kid. the guy tagging. Yeah, he's, yeah. The, he's the kid doing that, right? He's still. You're still. I mean, it is as madroso way. Yeah. Pero, yeah. But you're still. A, a, a good kid, let's say. Yeah, yeah. Where did that transition go to where now, now you're, okay. you're Conejo from Harpies, homie? Okay. There's this, there's this little, there's this little, I'm not going to say who did it, but uh, there's this little liquor store right there on 24th and, and um, Catalina. It's called Sun Moon. So we used to smash pennies all day con un big ass sledgehammer and play video games all day with smash pennies. <laughs> so we'll be right there all day, you know? Y también ahí llegaban los homies. That later became the homies, but right. they, I, everybody will be in that little liquor store playing video games, you know? So, una vez estamos ahí, y llegan unos enemies, y se meten buscando los homies, and we're right there, and they just socked us out right there. Ah. So, right there, it was just like, nah, fuck this. I, I just walked straight to the spot and was like, nah, that's it, I want to get in. And they, and they uh, just. Did you have long on. hair when they socked you up? Nah, nah. You already I, started to cut it down a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I already. Because I, I, I remember there was this one time that I had long hair, right? And uh, my mom hated it. So, so, so she was like, um, I had, tengo un montón de primas que they're all like, they all tienen estéticas, they all, they all cut hair, right? So I don't, like my grandfather grabbed me, they tied me with the extension cord <laughs> and they cut my hair and, 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 but I was, I was a kid, I was straight, I was crying, I was mad as fuck. I told my cousin like, te voy a matar pendeja. Uh, you're a pissed, kid, you're bitch. pissed. You know, cause. That was the shit. Like back there, everybody had long hair. Like you know. Right. And then they went to like a lot of people that had long hair went down to the ponytail. They're like, fuck it, I'll get rid of this oh, and yeah, just yeah, leave the right. ponytail. The rat tail back there. So there was homies that had long ones. Like, you know, like that. That was the I shit. I remember that. Yeah. But for but sure. yeah, when I, I got in the hood, yeah, fools were just already like fools were going to juvenile hall. Oh, yeah, fools were getting like la tres. That was like, oh shit. So we said cortó con la tres. Yeah, to get the one, it was like. Man, this fool's fucking bananas. He's, he's with psycho. it. He's with it, homie. Yeah, este güey está loco or some shit, you know? And who gave you your name, Conejo? You know, it's crazy because a mí, when I got put on the hood, I made me sound little tricks. There was a big tricks. Okay. So I remember when, in the riots, I was already like, like I wasn't liking it because I was growing up already because the riots, I think I was like 16 or 15. I don't know if I was, I don't yeah, know. I, we got to do the math. I don't know. But I was around that age where I was just like, nah, that shit sounds too childish, you know? And I was already, you know, writing on paper, Conejo, this shit looks, this shit. Pero ya había más Conejos. There's another Conejo that's like, um, I would say he's probably like, if I'm, I just turned 48, man, he might be 58. Right. I'm thinking. And he was one of the football players, Conejo. And then, había un veterano Conejo. Y luego otro. So there, there was already Conejos, but. Yeah, there's a few. So, so I just, I remember that, that riots, when the, when the LA riots happened. Yeah, 92. There's a, there's, había una carniceria right there on the corner of um, Hoover and 23rd. Right here is Arco, and on this side of the street. Y había una esas donde llevas, where you fill up the water, los estos. Y me subí arriba, and I caught a spot where I knew they weren't going to paint it. And that was the first time, you know, Conejo, HPS, oh, DE. So, and the homies were like, man, who the fuck is that? 
And you know, but you know, and I that's just, where it was I, born. I, I ran with it right there, you know. And so, so you gave yourself the name Conejo, yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. That's right. So, so after after you now you're in the hood and all that. Where does your your kind of rap career kind of begin? We gotta rewind. Let's rewind. Okay, cuando cuando break dancing was in, right? I wasn't a good break dancer, but I could rap already. I used to I used to mimic whatever, no matter what it was. I used to mimic it. So when we'll be right there, like my little crew will be like, hey, avienta tesa. So I'll just like spit some shit, like whatever, if it was Houdini, the LA Dream Team, whatever, That's you know? Right. Uh, Kumo D shit and like, antes no había East Coast, West Coast, you know? Right. And then I think, see, that's the thing that, that separates me from a lot of the, the homies that, that rap because my foundation is way different than theirs. These homies came in the game with Chicano rap. Esa yes. mani existía. Right. Me, I was just rapping. I, I, I didn't even trip on that fucking title. That's just a title, you know, but me, I was just making music. Y este, my foundation, I came from like battle rap, underground hip hop. I just like, I always been on like, because antes digo que no, no había, there was no sides. Most of the homies that, era cuando ya había West Coast and they're like, the, right. the, 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 the DJ Quick MCA pa acá, aquí me quedo. And they won't listen to Gangstar. So we'll be in the hood driving around and we love Gangstar. Like me and Veneno, we love Gangstar. Like just to get a rep and all, all that, you know, all these songs, like the beats were just like, to me, they, they like, no, they, they felt like Absolutely. the hood. Absolutely. They were just like, they weren't like, you know, the, the beginning or whatever became G-Funk or whatever. G-Funk existia. DJ Quick was that sound. Right. They developed into that, you know, above the law. And I, we used to hear all that shit too, you know, pero I used to rap. I was, I would write my own little raps, little, I just write raps, like long. I didn't even know about 16 bars. Right. So entonces, este, fast forward a little bit. Yo todos los neighborhood parties, all the backyard boogie shit. Yo agarraba pinches instrumentos, whether it be, um, I remember one, the ones I used to use all the time was X-Clan. Because mm. X-Clan had those like parliament, yeah. Yeah, you know, so George Clinton. Banging. They were banging, right? Yes. And then... Uh, a lot of people don't know about X-Clan. Yeah, they don't know about that. And then, entonces, I, I would like those and, and I would rap. Y me acuerdo que, que este, so un día, en esos días, to the hood, pues llegaban todas las de Florence, todas las de Westside Playboys, y llegaban las de Easy Riders, all the, the, the females, right? So, las de Easy Riders, one of, one of my other bros was dating one, pero she wasn't there that day. So, la, la que llegó... She was dating, um, you know, Chino from Escala? Yes. Okay, bro, Chino, Chino, Chino. From, this is how I met Chino. This is how right. it all started Shout for me. Shout out to Chino, man. Shout out to the homie Chino. And um, so, so she was dating Chino, right? I didn't know this. So I got off the mic. Me and Veneno got off the mic. Oh, he's like, hell yeah. So every, that almost raps like custom made where we shout out all the clicks and, and a certain homie or whatever, right? So she walks up to me and, and she made a little card. Y en esa card estaba un B-Boy, decía B-Boy Records. And she's like, hey, my, my boyfriend has a record, uh, she said a record store, but I heard record company. I was like, oh, shit, really? She's, I made it. Me dio una card, I'm like, I made it, that's it, I'm going to get a record deal. So le marco, le marco, I called the number on the card, le, es, y me contesta Chino. So he's like, hey, um, pull up over here to 900 East 1st Street in the loft area in downtown over there. Es donde vivía su, su, su boy, de, Okay, became the, the DJ of the Black Eyed Peas. I'm going to okay. motivate. They were in LA High. Like, LA High was like the hip-hop scene in LA, like for schools, you know? Like those schools in that area, which is this area right here right, almost. they were popping. Because LA High is not too far from here. Y entonces, este, he's like, come through, rap. So I go, vamos yo y veneno, right? Todos mis pinches raps, little notebook. Ready to get put Papeles on. doblados, all kinds of shit, right? <laughs> y estos ways, they don't have shit. They got a little tape deck with a fucking cable and a mic. <laughs> So estamos ahí rapeando y nos están grabando, right? Y ya, and then, uh, and then me acuerdo que, que it, it, we, that shit turned into like four, three to four hours smoking weed, we're chilling. And this was the first time you ever met Chino. Me, that's um, me, and, he, and he's from 18, you know? But, yeah, but, but, but right out. there, that, that didn't matter. That's right. Because that, that, that area has always been like artsy people. So everybody right there is just like, you're, you're an artist right there. That's I mean, right. like literally, like you're an artist, you're painting. You're a musician. So that was my introduction to that world where I was like, oh, shit, it's cool right here. The hood ain't that far. Fuck it. So entonces, me acuerdo que when I'm, I'm leaving, le, di, le digo a Motivate. Le digo a los dos. Le digo, hey, 
But because I was rapping on fucking instrumentals again, right? They had me right there rapping on instrumentals. Right. Like, hey, but how do you make a beat? How the fuck you make a beat? I want my own beat, like an original beat. And they're like, they hit me with the bad news. Like, nah, well, you're going to need about like 3K because you got to buy a sampler. You got to buy this. But I'm like 14, 15, maybe 15. Another thing I was going to turn 16. It's like, all right, cool. We start robbing. Put us, put us 211s. I said, no robberies, pero, pero we would never come up. It would be just enough to get, the, get some Corteses, get a Stanford. Just stay fly, fool. Stay fly and just... No, no, no. The no, JCPenney no, shirts. No, yeah, no, no, no se hacía. Y entonces, este, de hecho, we'll go to the JCPenney right there in North Hollywood and put on like six shirts. Ah, a gang of them. And then leave with a gang of white shirts on. Like, open up a gang of packs yeah, and just put sure. them on and take off. And we're in this dead end, right? One of the dead ends where we kick it at, which is viene siendo la Adams and Juliet. And, and fools already had Dayton's on their cars back then. Right. So this is like four in the morning. We're in there like, todos los que don't go home. All yeah. the, all <laughs> the, the, yeah. Todos los ways that don't go home. Holding it down in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> so we're right there. Y, y pinche Camaro goes down the dead and fucked up. They, they, y era, era, no, era un, como un IROC. Gold Dayton's. Se mete esa madre, and they're like, they go all the way to the end, they're like, fuck. So they start, do so in Chinga, we like push the big trash can, we block the street, and we was like, hey, bájense la verga. So we get these fools off, all cowboys. So we arrest these fools, we have them on the wall, todos acá. <laughs> so we arrest these fools. The homies take off in the car, y nos dejan a nosotros. So I was, because I was a kid, so they like, the homies sort of like got us, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. So we're like, nah, 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 these fools are ours. <laughs> you take they, the car, you, you get, they, These fools belong to us. So we get these fools for bracelets, chains, uh, los las bolas. These fools walked vámonos, away in socks. Vámonos. The hats, all that shit, los cintos, todos. <laughs> so, so, ahí es cuando, I, then I hit them that up. That was and the link like, that helped you out right And there. I was like, hey, let's go shopping. All right, cool. Fuimos, bought a sampler, uh, four track. It was a Tascam four track demo, microphones, headphones, cables. That's all right. right, now make me a beat. Y ahí empezó todo. You invested. You invested. <laughs> I invested in that shit. <laughs> what is, so you brought it back to Chino or what'd you do? No, not to Chino, to motivate. Okay, to motivate. Chino, really, he didn't have a record company. He had a record store on Slotsin. Yeah, he had the store. He had the store. So Chino, we just, he'd come through all the time. We'd smoke weed on the roof. And then, um, and you know, I'd ask him and shit. He's, and he would ask me about the homies, so he knew the homies. You know, because también the homies would go to LA High, even though they'll fight, but it, it was more different. It wasn't as violent. It it, yeah, it wasn't, you know, there could yeah. be... They probably, some of them even knew each other from yeah, elementary yeah. school and a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so Chino was just like, he was just tripping. He has all the original demo tapes. Él los tiene todos, los really? cassettes, all the originals. He has them. That's so, it. so fucking, y de ahí pues ya empezó todo. So, we record, like, okay, it was right there on uh, 900 East 1st Street. So, we'll, we'll be in the hood, and, and like me and Bandit, que es one of the oldest bros, he'll be like, hey, wey. Low key, vete pa' allá, wey. I'm gonna pick you up. So, cause the homies don't wanna come, you know? So, we'll just jump in the car, we'll go to Motivate, start working on beats, recording, you know, start. That was the, the initial demos. There's, there's a, they're out there, they're on YouTube. Who's that put them out there? That's right. Those are all the originals. I wanna read a passage from a reporter in the, in the 90s out in your hood, right? Yeah. Let me read it to you. Let me, I, I wanna know what your take on this. All right. In the late 1990s, reporter Hector Becerra described the Harpies gang. And I quote, like the winged myth myth mythological monsters they are named for, with a dubious power to spoil whatever they descend upon, the Harpy Street Gang has soured the lives of residents and merchants in the neighborhood. I mean, I think that happened in every hood. You, you, you start victimizing your own community at, at some point, because at first... You're there, but then... But is that how violent and how, how, how treacherous yeah, nah, it was it, in the hood? In the, in the hood, it was violent. Like, fools were dying, like, like nonstop. Like, even, like, there's even, like, conspiracies that cops were killing homies. There was, there was, like, you know, there was, a like, a, there's, like, a one time where the way they hit the homies standing in three different locations, all were, like, headshots. Like, there's no way fools knew how to shoot. Like, like there's just, I mean, I don't know. LA was just a, it was a, it was a different, it was like, I heard the homie say that, that um, one of the homies that raps, he said that shit's like mother nature and shit, like, you know, shit's not right, shit's out of balance, that traga what it's got to, then it like reinstates itself, you know? And I think like, I mean, but see, even though he says that, when, when I was living that, I didn't feel it like that. 
I just was, I probably would have heard that and would have been proud of that shit back then. Of course. I would have been like, hell yeah, look, they saying we like, we, we the craziest, you know, out here or, or whatever, you know, or anything, any kind of attention that we would get back then would right. be like homies cutting that shit out or, you know. And what do you think so many, so many youth in that time were joining all these street gangs and doing all this stuff? Was it for the attention, recognition? I don't know. Attention or recognition. You ever thought about that? I mean, you know, it's kind of cliche what I'm about to say. You it's know, right. like fools will be like, nah, well, you know, well, that, the recognition, this and right. that, the females, the camaraderie or, or, yeah, or lo que sure. sea. But, but that's your neighborhood anyway. So it's like, oh, and then this is the gang from here? Okay, cool. And then, and you kind of like, because you're, I remember being a little kid and being like, harpies, a little kid, like a little kid, because they were there. They were my neighbors. Right. You they know, were already established. I there. remember when they beat on my, my manager at those apartments. Those harpies had a ditching party. Y el wey vino a tocar, because they were making noise, and they opened the door and just knocked that fool out. That's how it was. Y, y, y este, y, 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 y they like, growing up right there, pues, por decir, we'll be in the hood, we're kids. Oh, okay, we'll spot some fools, que from some other place. We'll go tell the homies right oh. away. Allá están estos weyes. <laughs> what? Where? Over there. What they wearing? What, what they in? What, you know? It, it, it was just, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know if, I, I mean, I would have been proud of that back then. I bet. No, I think any hood would have been, yeah. to be realistic. Yeah, any, like, any hood that got any kind of peace, like any, like, you know, how Fox News, you do all kind of things. Yeah, yeah. They still do. Anybody comes on that, you're like, oh, the hood's, in the, the hood's yeah, on the hood's Yeah, yeah, the right? homie, or they see footage of a homie or, or some shit. Or, I, I think when they try to downplay it, they don't know that they're actually kind of glorifying it much more. Yeah, it's similar to that one with the two little kids from uh, Canten Varo Tortilla Flats. When oh, yeah, that came out, sure. that, I was like huge. Yeah, everybody wants to see it, and all of a sudden they're talking about that hood, and it, it, it gives them that recognition. It gives yeah. like free advertisement for the free hood. Free advertisement. So, I mean, but I, I, I just, I just said more so people kind of realize the, uh, the life that you live, the hood that you live, the water that you're from. That it, it was very treacherous, and that's you know, it was, it was like that other cliche, a product of your environment. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I think that when you're like living it, I, I, I mean, I didn't notice that. To me, it was just like. Yeah, it's normal. Like Friday, you're getting ready. You, you know, that's planchando. Well, talk, talk to me about that, homie. Talk to me about, about the estilo back then. When, you, when you're getting ready on a Friday, how was that? Fools were G'd up back then. Yo, like us, like, 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 like the hood, like we, we took like the homies. They were like fucking fashionistas, la neta. Fashionistas. Like they took, they took pride in that shit. Before they were the fashionista on Instagram, homie. Yeah, yeah. So they they took they took pride in that shit. You know, like like a lot of my homies, I feel like they they even set trends and just like the way they dressed and everything. You know, like they they even brung some shit back. They okay, already had died out. Would there be the little V necks? You know the you know with the the sleeveless ones yeah, and, yeah, for or sure. whatever. You know, but but you know you just because back in the day in the hood like. The homies were like, like if your shit wasn't brand new, they'll clown the fuck out oh, of you. Yeah, your man. shoes gotta be brand new. The little piquitos gotta be like white. That's like when toothbrush. If you didn't have brand new ones, you're right there with a little toothbrush making your shit look right. And blunt and your if your white your white t-shirts gotta be white, because if they dingy, <laughs> te dan un chingo de carrilla. <laughs> sí, be wait. like este wey que esa madre donde salió. Well, the homies would fucking uh would would uh would uh, iron their boxers back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. The boxers. And like us, like we would wear two white shirts. That way it looks whiter. <laughs> you put one under, so it looks like whiter. You know? And then like the Cortezes, like I'll get, we'll get like socks and then we'll put it like right here under the tongue so they look pop, popped up. And it was sort of like a New York B-boy, like, but it was New York Cholo, but you're making them look like puffy, like something like an Adidas would look, but you're just doing it with the Cortezes. And, and did you see the trend also? that Because like you were saying, it went from long hair to slick back hair, and then the homies all became pelones, right? Yeah, yeah. It all, it all, it, you, you kind of saw the whole change in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los pantalones bien grandototes, güey. Bien grandototes. I used to be wearing like 56, and 58. And you're, you're a, I'm I mean, you're, you're still a thin guy, but you were a very thin guy back then. Yup. You were the 56 guy? 56. Los chingas, güey, como corrías. Man. I wasn't running, falls pull out the strap. Man, I just was like, you know, we had the little techniques to pin them in the back, para que you don't step on the pants, and... <laughs> Oh, yeah, little, put the tape or put a little... No, yeah, we'll stick the little... <laughs> the little stapler on there. Yeah, and just, um, you know, and and I don't know. We just try to look right on the, on the weekends, you know? It, it was a different time. The, the, the weekdays is like, también, if something was going on, but you just be out there like... So, how many, how many years were you out there in the hood before the big chapter in your life that changed? And all of a sudden, it, it had you on the run. 
Well, I went on the run in, I don't know if it was two, the end of 2001 or 2002. Some, some, I went right there. So I, todos los, like the tail end of the, the, the 80s, the last of the 80s, the whole 90s. So you the were t- out there with all that crazy stuff, yeah, huh, man? Yeah, so, so como 2001, 2002 es cuando me fui. Right. Y, and, that, y, and that's when you became a fugitive. Yeah, y, y, and it's crazy because that last, I'm going to say that, la- I'm going to say 90 days, but it might have been 60 or 30. Who knows? Right. There was like um, three attempts on me where I almost got got three different times. Un día me agarraron some dude. Like, it was crazy because one of the times was a little kid. A little kid. Like, uh, he, maybe he was older, but he looked like he was like 13. He may have been. Yeah, I was right there in the park. And, and you know, I, was, I used to work construction, carpenters, you own union, all that shit. So um, I went to the hood to, to recap. I'll go get dope because it was in the job site. Con, construction wait. in the daytime and dealing dope at yeah, night. Yeah, so I was right there waiting. Me lo fueron a traer. So, so I was right there. My bro went to the back. He was taking some fucking cable. He's like, I need this cable for the house. He could, and I'm in the front by a crush from the park. I mean, there's a little barn. I'm right there. Dirty. Fucking serious so boots. Holly, yeah, you know, dirty jeans. And I'm just right there. And I see a car coming down on the side of the park for like four guys. And I look and I'm like, what the fuck? His door is open already. He had already had it open. And they're looking inside the park. They're not, I'm, on the other, I'm, on, I'm on this side of the street. They're looking that side of the street. And right when they, they get like right in front of me, I'm like, hey. And they turn around. I'm like, those harpies. And the little kid jumped out and he let uh, one off. Yes, uh, me quemó la pierna. Oh, it made me fall. Oh, it like, I don't know, it was like weird. It me, me, me quemó. It burned through the pants. Like it skinned me. And I got up. And I'm like, I remember there was a girl that lived right there. She had, they had just bought a brand new Honda Civic. So when I ran around the Honda Civic, they lit up the whole front of the, all the windshield. Estaba <laughs> llore llore at the end. My car! E, e, and there was a soccer game going on inside Hoover Park, right? So I'm like, man, should I just jump? Because it's the way he wouldn't give up. He chased me almost all the way to um, Adams. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted that. Yeah. So I was like, could I make it or not? Like, and I was just like trying to psych him out. He met, you know, he, and he, they, they took out, they backed up and he jumped in. He said, fueron. Then I was, uh, I seen some, some soccer players at a gas station, right? Normandy and Washington, the hood. We're just hood, hood patrolling. On a Sunday, but but I, like some of them were bald, you know. Y este, I'm like, let's pull up on these fools. We pull up on them. They're like on this side, pumping on this side. So we pull up on this side. Hey, qué barrio? And and but but like they were like, you know, back when when you're on the street like that, you got like a sixth sense. They felt it because simultaneously, I seen a move like someone did oh, some shit like yeah, this. Yeah. And he went for it, and and he fucking gave it to my whole shit. I punched it. I barely, I don't even know how. Like glass was in my ear, in my mouth, like boom, 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 and I smashed out. Me pasaron tres, otra más, más critical. Y I just felt like there was a lot of shit going on. But you know, you, you, get, you, you get addicted. Do. Yeah. You get addicted to it. It's like you still want to wanna do it. Y, um, so pasa lo que pasa, I end up going on the run. I what know, year did you go on the run? I, that's what I'm saying. I think it was like 2002. I'm not sure. Two, okay. At the end of 2001, 2002. Early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s, like the beginning. Yes, the. Now, when you took off on the run, did you end up getting in the car? Nah, nah, nah. Flying? I, I, Talk I, to me. I didn't, I didn't really leave. I was in the area. Oh, you moving. were in the hood still? No, nah, not in the hood. Different, different spots. Okay. Moving around. But you were in the state? In okay. the states. Moved, states. We moved around, and ah, I don't like this. Came back. And then we're in these apartments. When you say you don't like this, what do you mean? I don't, I didn't, like, cause see, us, like, our world's little. Yeah. We don't like nothing that's not the hood. Right. It's, it's not like how I feel now. Right now, I, I just want to see the world. I don't care about, I, I care about, like. Well, back then, the world's a box somewhere. Yeah, or so, the block you live so, on. so, and even though I was, my, my, my family's already living in the valley. Right. Pero todavía estaba allá. You know, but, sem, like. It wasn't home. I, yeah, that's my comfort zone, so. So we come back, but not to the hood, like hiding around, whatever. And then my, my boy was like, hey, plus my family over there is like telling us to pull up. There's work for us over there. Y over este, there, you mean Mexico? Yeah, there's work. So I'm like, well, fuck it. Let's get out of here. How much you got? I remember when I left, I had 3K on me. Okay. And he had like six or seven. And then we left. The último, I remember that, that, that night that we crossed. Damn, I, I was, we, were, we weren't even talking. We were just quiet. They crossed us in the car. Uh, we're just like, 
Just you're, like, see, you're seeing the lights of America leaving now. You're walking. You're yeah, yeah and, and, and it was nighttime, so so when we you, you you see Mexico, the smell changes. So it's cool, but but then and then um, we ended up riding a, a bus like a Greyhound, right? All the way to Jalisco, so it's like a 36 hour ride. Wow. And then so the whole way there, I'm wearing a Dodgers jacket. I'm 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 bald. You're I'm still like, banged out. Yeah, and 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 the bus is empty. There's a little bit of people, you know, the buses are full when they come back up. But that way, they, and that time when we went, it was like empty. Y este, I remember my boy's like three rows back on one side. We're not looking at it. We're not even talking. And we're just like, I'm just what, like looking. What are you thinking? I'm just like, like, like depressed. I don't know if, I, I don't want to say suicidal, but anxiety, I, I, the anxiety. Whole- you feel like you're se te acabó el mundo, basically. Your world's over. And this is just barely starting for this you. This is day one. Wow. Day one, to day one and a half or whatever, 36 hours. Y este, yeah, we get over there and it's a party. We're over there drinking, da, 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 like, you know, just taking it all in. And then after about a month, it just dies out. We don't have no more money. Shit's like, ah, I don't like this. I used to buy brand new clothes every week to go kick it. Brand new clothes every week, brand new shoes every single week, todo. Right. Now my shit's looking, I'm looking dingy. I'm looking like, and over there there's dirt. You can't stay clean, even if you right. want to stay clean. <laughs> you you can't wear white shoes over there, you know? <laughs> we eat like crispy white shoes. It ain't happening over there, you know? And then I, I just fell out of place because I, look, I start realizing that my, my, my dress code, shit's lame over there. It's, it's shit. Look, you, how did, you how look did like, they treat you out there uh, when you got there? I mean, it's one. It's because I have to, family. It's one, it's one thing family. to go visit over there, yeah. but it's another thing to go live over there. Well, see, that's the thing. When you go over there, they know that Americans come over there. You know, they come. But, but, but after some time, if you're, st- if you're, they're like, wait a minute, este güey tiene dos meses aquí, tres meses aquí. They know. They're like, either este güey está deportado, o este güey trae pedos en el otro lado, y y pues. You know, and, and now you're starting like, like, I'm paranoid as fuck. I'm like, anxiety, I can't sleep. I, I felt like I didn't sleep 15 years the whole time I was there. I mean, wow. I slept. Yeah, but, but you but, never but had it a good like, night's sleep. It's like, I would always want to sleep by a window so I could hear. And, and, and then just like, oh, you know, just get up. And, and y, y así it started. And then it got to a point where me and my, me and my guy, we split up. We're like, fool, we're bringing too much attention. Los dos, wey. let's just split up. And then as soon as something pops up, yo te marco, y ya. And then, but it, it took like another six. We would always talk and everything. Right. We'll meet up in different spots in Guadalajara, eat, boom, go our own ways again, and shit like that. Y, and then, it, then that's when my life started going slow. And I kind of started enjoying, like, for the first time in my life in a long time, my life got the slow. The pace got it, slowed down. It huh? felt so fast when I'm here, especially towards the end. It felt so fast. Y este, and that was the culture shock. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. E, e. And then um, I remember when, when like, we're like, nah, they, they told us, like, hey, I see. We can't fuck with you like that. You got to get rid of that shit. And I remember I had two duffel bags. This shit had, like. That's what I'm saying. Dodger jackets, all this shit. Like, the cholote oh, here, fool. I, there was some fucking Mexico cholos, right? But a, a cholo <laughs> in Mexico is equivalent to a crackhead. Oh, they shit. get no respect. Really? Oh, and, yeah. And, 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 and I don't give a fuck if you just got out the feds for 40 years. Over there, you get the party. You're, you're nothing. Bottom of the totem pole. You're nothing. And if you try to be hard, you're going to go MIA. You can give some, somebody the wrong look. And, and, and I, didn't, I didn't know this. You know, I'm starting to learn... Cause my, my family, they're, they're not into drug traffic. Right. They're not in, my boy's family was into all that shit. Right. So he's been in it his whole life, you know? Me, I'm starting to like see things. And, and then, um, so f- I remember that first day we got rid of all the clothes. I gave it to some fucking, unos cholos de allá de Mexico. Están peleando on the corner, I remember like <laughs> oh, shit. two like, brothers. They were like, no, nah, these, these are mine, you know? He, 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 este, and, and then we jumped into some fitted clothes for the first time in ever. You, you changed your appearance. Yeah, changed my appearance. Did you change your name? Yeah, yeah. I had different names, all that. Y este, so y, even, y, it's funny because even when I, when I finally get caught and I hear my name after 15 years, I feel weird. Like, ah, oh, that's not me. Right. And even when I go into the county, you know, Conejo, 
art piece. Uh, Even we'll, that felt weird. We'll, we'll get to that. So now you're out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm out there. Um, w- did you have your daughter at this time? Nah, nah, I don't. I don't have her. So how many how many years into your into your running from the law did your daughter come to play? Maybe about like seven or eight. Okay. So I'm running now. I'm see. Okay, my life slowed down, right? Yes. For that, for like maybe that first year. Cause I'm alone, I'm away from everybody. I'm just with my family. I'm like, I'm getting to know things. You know, I find out that, that we're Asian. My grandfather's family's Asian. I, we're finding all these things out. On the other side, on my dad's side, my grandfather was a Cristero. Full, you know, like it was the, the church against the government. I'm finding all these things out, like just randomly, like what? Right. Looking through shit and just like talk. I see my- um, You're getting out to your roots. Yeah, I, I see my uncle die of um, throat cancer. Fuck me up. I, I didn't know what to do. As a matter of fact, I ran down the street when the car was right outside the door. I ran like like 10 blocks to get a taxi. That's all. I, right. Like, you know, the homies been dying my whole life. But violently. Shit. Right. But watching my uncle die, like choking on his own blood and all this, it traumatized me. Like, because, you know, that's my dad's brother. You know, that's right. like a, an extension of my dad in, mm-hmm. in, in a sense. And... And it just, it hurt me. That shit fucked me up. Quedé traumado. I remember um, I was working out early in the morning and I was bumping Audio Slave. That was my shit. Puro, I was just hearing Audio Slave. And, and that song was playing like a stone. So every time I hear that song, it reminds me of my, my Tio Chuy. Okay. Because cause it just, because there's a, there's a line on that, in that song where it says that, that he was praying to anybody. He was a fucking pagan. Like he just wanted to make it. And, and my uncle was doing that. Like he was like, you know, they were taking it to fucking... He was going to the hospital, but they were, like, using herbalists. But it was too late. Like, when, by the time they brought all these, like, like uh, homeo... homeo uh, Home remedies and stuff? Yeah. They, um... Homeopathic, is that what it's called? Este... Era, era, era muy tarde y este... It, it, was, it was sad. Right. But, but you know... I, but there was a lot of, like, good times, you know? And now being the... You know, my uncle had ranchos and all that shit. So barbecues in the middle of, like, nowhere... And, and, but I'll still be, like, some days I'll, se me olvidaba, I'll straight forget that I was a fugitive. Right. But then, it, it could be anything, something fucking trigger it, anything, like, something will trigger it, and then it, I'll go on this, like. Do you, do you ever have any suicidal thoughts back then? I think I did, because, because. There was, there was a time where I just couldn't take it. I'm like, man, I'm going to turn myself in, fuck this. And I seen a gang of fugitives do that. Yeah, I've heard of that. I, they they can't take it. They can't the adapt. Pressure, dude. It's they, crazy. They, they can't adapt. And 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 me, I got blessed that like, uh, my homie, he his family knew how to do it. His family is full of fugitives from the feds, from the DEA, crazy fugitive family, and doing it. You know, that's why. Like I feel like I, I was blessed in a way that I got to be around a lot of self-made people, with either legal or illegal. Right. I got to see like fools that. Like, I remember one time we were over there, right? And um, we went to this meeting with, with, with my boy's family because we were uh, like rolling with con un tío de él. And we go to this meeting and this dude rolls up, right? And this is, this is back then. Ahorita they don't roll like that. But it's the way you got three Range Rovers. Boom, boom, boom. They don't, they don't caravan like that no more. Right. That's like a yeah, fucking a dead giveaway. Y este el güey llega. And then um, he knew about us, but we, I didn't know who he was. He was from Florence. This fool's major. America's Most Wanted, all this shit. Oh, shit he right. looked like an st- architect. I didn't know. I, I didn't know, right? So then, but and we're not allowed to talk to him anyways. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm I'm you gotta you know go get this, pick up this type right. shit. Just a runner. Yeah. So then we end up seeing him again. But this time we pull up. This fool got Timberlands on. He's wearing jeans, a long white shirt, and a big ass gold chain. And I, and I could tell he's a homie. Right. right there, I knew he was a homie. Like just different things. Estilo. Y el güey, ya el último que de ellos platicaron, se nos arrima. And nos dijo, it's going to get easier. Don't trip. That's It'll be right. all right. And then that's when we thought, oh, it's the way he's from Florence. And, and oh, shit. But, and then he got killed over there, you know, later, years later. They well, killed him. That's what I was going to ask you because, I mean, I had a lot of homies get deported and go out there, and a lot of them got killed, man. Yeah, did yeah. Did you see a lot of homies get killed? And how did you kind of. I didn't fuck with no homies. I'll stay away from any it, homie because that- there was a lot of informants over there. And then even, I just. I just, you know, I just, um, I be, yo siento como que si, 
like I be, me convertí mexicano, la neta. Like I just I took that in. This is I didn't like it at first because my boy always used to tell me like, hey rabbit, what? He's like, fool, this is home. I'll be like, hell no, nah, this is your home. He's like, nah, fool, this is home. Like, hell no, nah, chale, we, no mames, we. But you always had that kind of real Mexicano in you because there's a difference. There's a Mexicano, there's a pocho. A lot of the, yeah, yeah. A lot of the homies that go over there, they, they're looking at as three pochos. They don't fuck with them. It's even harder for... Hey, look, you know what? Yo, yo toda mi vida yo hablado español. Mi mamá, todos hablan español. Simón. Como te regañan y todo. Even your raps all that too. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm Mexican, you know? Yeah, for sure. But I get to Mexico and I realize I don't know how to talk Spanish right. I'm over here like explaining myself with hands. I'm over here doing fucking <laughs> hands, you know, sign language almost and shit. Because it, 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 it's not matching. It's, it, no it, match, it, carnal. It, it's, 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 not, it's not good enough to hold a conversation with them without, este, uh, como, como se dice? All that bullshit. You, you weren't fluent. I wasn't fluent like that. I, I was in the hood, like with the homies, like, man, you know, you, that, that street. Right. That street Mexican the Spanish talk. and all that stuff. Esa madre, si, you know? Y este, but, but over there, no, no es lo mismo, you know, so, so they told us, I remember like soon after, see, okay, so I'm over there, my life's going slow, I'm, I'm, I'm self, uh, soul this, searching. These are the first couple of years. No, this, this is the first year. My oh, shit, okay. my shit went wild after the first nine months, it turned up and it went worse than even LA. Okay. Allá es otro pedo, like next level shit, you know. Of y, course. Y, 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 so that first year was, it was. I'm enjoying it. Y un día me entra la llamada de mi boy. Pack your shit. Este, I'll be over there like in five, six hours. Ya, ya llego, jale. There's real shit to do. Let's run it. So I was like, what is it? And he's like, nah, I ain't gonna tell you on the phone, fool. I'll tell you when I get there. Y ya cuando llegó, which was, that was the plan anyways. You know, when we crossed, that was the plan. We're gonna do this to get enough money to come back and beat this, which was an oxymoron, like, really... <laughs> Like, we're, we're gonna be with the business over here to to, to get the money to come to go back to LA. That's right. how much we missed LA, you know. Y este, I was like, all right. So we go, and now I'm starting to be you know being around them. I start like pick, you know. That's why like fools are like fools trip out that I only listen to Spanish music now because I'm like, man, listen to that shit. For a while. <laughs> Oh, you know, Come was, on, you gotta listen to Vicente, who's the No, no, I bump all that shit. I bump <laughs> all that shit. He, he, he was, you know, but that's because now I'm taking it in. I'm starting to like this shit. Like, right. But I always, my, my family, you yeah, know, of fucking always played that. That's party music, barbecue music that's, for my yeah, whole family. Every, every barbecue, yes. So, so, but now it's like, you know, y luego lo de los corridos, es, it, it was already started in L.A. here, you know? Right. Because también that's another thing. Andaban un chingo de homies de quebraditas and gorrudos <laughs> y todo. You know, that's another, like, segment of LA that was happening too like right. another little movement that the homies were doing it too even though they were they were from hoods but they were over there you know el parral and rodeo and all that shit you know right so well we're over there you know and, and right before that right before that call I remember I went to a concert with two of my mom's brothers right Todo, you know, I had my, my boots on, cowboy boots, pinche Ay, te las botas, wey, yeah, todo. All that shit, dog. That shit, something. <laughs> Straight up. Hell yeah, that's something that's like That's right. You know, so I'm over there. We went to see uh, Valentin Elizalde, este, La Banda Limon. We seen like three like major that they were popping right there. Right. So I'm drinking with my uncles because that, again, they're like an extension of my mom. This is my mom's brothers, you know? So I'm, I'm, I feel good. And plus, my uncle, the one that I'm with, Man, he always loved us. This this dude would take he would take us in his van skating sometimes. He would take us hiking over here in um Griffith Park. He would take us to Magic Mountain deep. No money. He would pay for everybody. That's he's right. he's the he's the richest brother of all the brothers. So he always like we we even though he'll when he'll get mad, he'll fuck us all up. Put everybody <laughs> on their knees, extension <laughs> oh, cord, fuck everybody up. Vamos, cabrones. Y, pero we love them. We I still love them. Like, That's like, great. like, you know, and when we're over there, we're drinking, drinking, drinking. And I remember he told me, he's like, he just, he's like, kind of pulled me to the side. And he's like, hey, acá. Basically, he told me, you're going to have to mind somebody over here. Yeah. Acá. He, no, he told me, uh, what was the word he used? Uh, he said something to the extent, acá, acá si son valientes. It's, 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 it's otro. Like, he explained to me, it's going to be different. And I was drunk. I was like, yeah, yeah, tío. You know, yo sé. Okay. But okay. I didn't know. I told him, yeah, yeah, yo sé, yo sé. I, mean, I know everything, but I didn't know shit, really. Aquí te quebran, güey. Y, y, y. Then I get the call. Then all this other shit starts happening, and and we're I'm, now I'm hearing about, you know, DEA informants and FBI informants, and this fool's 
y que este güey es compadres con los colombianos. I'm starting to, all this shit starting to happen around me. And, um, but it, it, it still doesn't, I'm not, I'm around it, but I'm not like caring that much. I'm just like, I'm, I'm even feeling like out of place. I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in, in, in. Right. Because they still looked at us like, man, pinches malandros, just pinches cholos, pinches, give these fools a hundred dollars or some shit. Tell them to go fucking, you know, like, you know, because. They didn't see you guys as serious shit. Not yet. Not yet. And then, you know, more shit happened. Then we, we, we end up in TJ because this lady, some, some boss lady, right? <laughs> She's like, after some shit, she was like, I, I, nothing but little mansions over there. So she's like, pick one. That's you guys. Just like that. You guys pick one, and that's you. Make sure you just take care of it, and um, and that's what we did. So I, I like the TJ better because I see people close, could come. We're yes. close. TJ's more like the U.S. in a sense, you know, because todos hablan English, and and you, te puedes mover más. But we're fucking up by doing that. You're close. Because where we're living and where we're at, is the that area was even pure rich people, politicos. People with bodyguards, our neighborhood, the consulado americano, all these things are going on, right? And 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 on top of that, now there's surveillance going on. Well, we don't see it; we're blind to it. I don't know about it like that, but it's going on. These fools, like, and even the U.S. is over there, but the U.S. can't let themselves be known. But they're there, of course. But there is more like intelligence, and then they tell like the Mexicans, like, "Hey, this is there. Make it happen. Bring them." Shit like that's happening. So. And they're trying to figure out who you guys are. I mean, it, 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 it kind of got to that. So, on the reset, there's a song called 15 Years. When I dropped the reset, I told a story. De que un día, okay, we're in the, we're in the pad, right? Y enfrente de la casa había un sign enfrente que decía venta o renta, but it was bullshit. That shit wasn't for sale or rent. It wasn't. Right, it was but, just... <laughs> so, one day, they timbran el, el portón, se prenden todas las cameras, all the screens turn on in the house. By the kitchen, there was a gang of screens. They all turn on. All it, it, anything gets by the close to the door, they all go off. Oh shit! So we're like, see, sí, qué pasó? And there was a dude. He's kind of similar to you, like stocky, militaryish vibes, you know, like a cat. And then he's like, hey, see, sí, queremos hablar con el dueño de la casa. And we're like, no, no, acá no vive el dueño de la casa. Oh, pues podemos hablar con alguien. But he looked normal. Right. This is the fucking La PGR. La PGR is, was, was because they disbanded them and now they're called like FGR. They, they did, right? Yes. Because they were corrupt, right? So <laughs> yeah. that's them. That's them at the door, right? So everybody's like, you go. No, you go. Nobody wanted to go. We're three fugitives living in this house. Shit. That, that could be a series right there. <laughs> so yo voy a la puerta, right? Pero cuando ya abro la puerta, ya están en el carro. Y están en un Chevy Malibu. Y en esos días, I didn't, I didn't even think. Todos los judiciales, ministeriales, los, los güeyes de la PGR traían de Chevy Malibus. So they call me to the car and I still walk up to the car. And I walk up to them and they start interrogating me like, hey, ¿de quién es la casa? But like, like root. And there was a female, three dudes like and aggressive. a female. Aggressive. And the female was the aggressive one, like barking at me and, ¿cómo que no sabes? No, la, no es que nosotros rentamos la casa for the summer, like por el verano, estamos nomás aquí. Oh, sí. And like not believing a word I'm saying, you right. know? Y eso... And what's up with that? And like, they just, you know, and they just peel out in front of me. Boom, se van. Y me quedo así, and these fools watched it on the cameras. They're like, what the fuck was that? Right. And fools just peeled out, man. I don't hablando. So two weeks later, llega mi boy de la action, con un carro que compró la action. Shit, the airbag's gone, so no got no horn, no nothing, right? So we wouldn't come out at times. We had quads. La noche sal salíamos, íbamos a los, uh, unas hills, o sea, los T-Mobiles se vean de allí. Pero ya traemos Boost Mobiles, and... Next tells. So, entonces, este, cuando llega mi compa, we had ordered a pizza, I remember. Some shit called, what was that pizza we would always get? Right there by, nah, that other one. It's the main one in TJ. So, whatever. So, we're like, nah, prestanos el carro, wey. We ordered a pizza, we'd rather just go pick it up. And he's like, oh, here's 20 bucks. Tama no trae nada, guys, it's under the E. All right. So, nos subimos. And we lived in a quarter sack, like a double quarter sack. Like there's a park in the middle. I see okay. two little dead ends, right? And the dead ends connect at the end too. Salimos when we hit the stop stop sign. We made a right, and I was like, my boy was driving. Y este, we looked at each other like, what the fuck was that? Because either it was a big ass lens, or it was binoculars. But Shit. but but we seen it. It was big. 
don't know if it was, but todavía no saben, you know. So we're like, damn, ay, wey, ahí vienen. Boom, they get behind us. Una Ford Explorer del año. Whatever that year was, that was the, it was a brand new one. It starts following us, so, and chinga empiezo a marcar. Yo le marco uh, one of my other boys, well, the other one. And then he wasn't there. He was with his cousin. His cousin was this major fool. También wanted by the feds and the DEA. Oh, shit. Okay, this trip, I'm going to rewind a little bit. Yeah, Tell you about it. this dude. This dude, he gets caught in New York, right? With a gang of birds, right? So they had him, they had him, they had him. They finally gave him bail. This fool bones out. Y le cortan todas las fingerprints and they sew him back on upside down. What? Yeah. But one hand at a time because you need one to like, you know, you got to go yeah, to the bathroom. You got to do your thing. So, una y luego la otra. This fool goes right back to, um, now he sets up shop in Chicago doing it. But now he lets his hair go long, his beard's out. He looked he look like, he looked like Middle Eastern almost. Está bien blanco, pale white. Y este way, he ends up getting cracked. He ends up getting cracked. Cracked in Chicago and he has no bail because they're running him and the system says error. They can't. They don't know who he is. <laughs> they don't know who he is. They don't know who he is. They don't know who he is. They finally gave him bail. That fool rolls out over there. So we're with him over there, you know. So my boy's with him. Es su primo. Y este. So empezó a marcar. Hey, we got tail. What? Yeah. How you know? Pues esta madre making a ride. They make a ride. Make a, I took Prime over there. I took Prime and I took him on the, the whole little route just to show him. Y este, nos están persiguiendo, and they're like, we on our way. So, el plan era que iban a venir, iban a bloquearlos, para que no, you know, so that we could smash out. Right. Y, 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 y yo era el que, I kind of knew the streets because I was already more low key. I already had to comb over. It was bigger. Comb over the glasses. I was already nerdy looking. So, at night, I would go and get food, and I, and I wanted to go. I, want, I needed to get out. I was... Being even though you're in a mansion, swimming pool, jacuzzi, we had um Cali Kings. Everybody had a Cali King bed, PlayStation all fucking day long, like. La jaula de oro. Y en una jaula de oro, la neta, exactamente lo que era. Y entonces este, pues, I needed oxygen, you know, and I needed to be around people, even if it was every so often, you know. And then um, so I would go through streets. Oh, let me see what. ¿Dónde salgo? Si me voy por esto, ¿dónde salgo? So they're following us, and there was a park where we'll play basketball all the time. We'll go low key, play basketball, come back. So we're going, and my el que iba manejando is like, man, I'ma punch it. No way, I want that way, I want that way till these fools to show up. Nah, nah, fool, just punch it. No me queda hacer caso, way. There's a there's a famous newspaper in in, in TJ, se llama El Zeta. This shit was like la alarma. Fools, they snitching on fools. Fools chopped up this new newspaper. When you would read it, it's like a movie every week. Wow. You're like, how the fuck they get this info? It's gotta be someone on the on the on the inside mm-hmm. giving them because there would be details and details. I ended up coming out when I got arrested, I came out in the seta. And um so right by there, it's the right around there, this they're watching us. I'm on three cell phones, four cell phones. They're seeing me. They know they, they know it's the way he's calling for backup. So entonces este Long story short, este way he punches it. Yo marco para la casa y le digo aquí a mi, a mi boy, hey, saca todos los fierros. Ponte un bulletproof vest, saca todos los otros bulletproof vests. We, we, we're going to war. Yeah, we're going to go to war. Because in those days, like, it happens so fast that you might think, ah, fool, he's putting too much on it. But when you're in that situation, y no, no hayas la salida. You, what, like, what was I going to do? Fucking drive around TJ for yeah. five hours, backup was going to come eventually. Of course. You know, so este, we're going, abre el garacho, you know, bring everything out and be right there ready so that we could crash in y tú sales para afuera y te da recio mientras que nos, we suit up. Y este, but we're too close to the pad. So cuando ya veníamos, garage estaba cerrado todavía. It's like, we're 40 seconds away from the pad. 50 seconds, right. maybe a minute and a half, I don't know. But it was fast. When we, cuando miramos que está cerrado esa madre, esa madre turns into a high-speed chase. Now it's Grand Theft Auto. Pff, sidewalks, crashing cars out of the way. This is like, las cuatro de la tarde, cinco de la tarde. You know, y este, I'm on the phone. Hey, 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 hurry up. Es más, vamos como por atrás del casino. The big one in TJ is the más caliente. Vamos como por atrás. And I'm looking. This fool's driving. I'm looking. All of a sudden, I get down. It's, why, why are you getting down? I'm like, man... Cause they came out the window with a big ass oh, rifle shit. and the scope was like that big. So it's the way he's like, he's out the window and I'm like, oh, and I'm telling him like, hey, wait, we got to split up because 
but the tip on that shit is gonna be like that big. If somebody's gonna go through the car, he's gonna blow limbs off. We need to like, right. we need to go. No way, no way, aguanta, aguanta. Let's just fuck it, let's just turn ourselves in. Y yo pues, nah, no quería yo. No sé por qué, pues yo no quería. Y este, finally, this food pulls over, right? Y pero they don't pull up right behind us. They stop a little bit back. Ya se oyen, I can hear cop cars coming. Woo, I can hear them. But este, so where we stop, enfrente, allá este, en todos los bancos o todas las casas de cambios. Yes. No en todas, pero siempre está un, un estatal, un, un federal. Un, there, there's always an so, arm. Some kind of security up there. Uh, um, in the front. So when these fools jump out on us, they're like kind of like tactical. They go like, they flank us like, este, um, ese way he thinks it's like a, a hold up. So he tells them to, 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 oh, to stand down. And they're like, no, you they're stand down. And, and they're forth. both showing each other badges. They're like, no, dude. Well, they don't trust each other over there. So when that other. happened, we end up punching it and we, we got away. We end up getting oh, away. Shit. We, and we made like 30 car accidents because two days later, they cracked my boy, the driver, trying to cross into the US. They raided him at the border. Right when he was gonna like two cars to cross, boom, the feds got him. For him. And it's crazy because cuando lo agarraron, okay, Cuando él, él se fue, eso dijo, vinieron por el carro como a los two days. There's a, this story is super long. There's a whole missing part that, man, we could go on for hours, but I'm going to just... They, they can hear it on your podcast. Yeah, they can way. hear it on Inside a Sinister Mind. That's right. So, entonces, este, you know, con, él se va y como a la hora y media, the next tail goes off. Brrr, it goes off and I just hear, get out of the house, get out of the house, the feds, the feds. Los feos, los feos. Soy un desmadre. So, it just sounded like, that shit was weird at a fucking, at fucking Bad Bunny's concert. That shit was loud as fuck. <laughs> Some other, which was loud because no one's in the house. It's just us. And we're right. in the kitchen. It's looking at the cameras. Like, todos paniqueados. Y este. You guys stayed in Tijuana f- all that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Jalisco, Tijuana. Jalisco, Tijuana. Was that what Tijuana. you guys were doing? Yeah, moving around. How corrupt, I mean, how corrupt was the police out there in Tijuana? I mean, they still are, but how was it back then? No, I still, I still hadn't like, like, like found out how they were that bad until later. Okay. okay. Whatever. We get out. We get away. We end up on the east side of TJ. Mariano Matamoros. It went on. So later, right now, that you ask about police corruption, material and little experience that que tuvimos un día. So entonces, okay, el primo, okay, you know the el primo de las fingerprints. Uh huh. Tenía otro primo. We're gonna call this dude. I'm gonna give him a code name. We're okay. His only job, he would go to Chicago, fly to Chicago, and drive back a car with secret compartments full of money. That was his job. So he would go, stay for like two or three months while they collected everything. Ya lo armaban el carro, y él se venía y lo entregaban a border, y de ahí se lo llevaban whatever. They'll put it on a semi, or they'll put the different ways, or right. repartían dinero. Different shit would happen. So that was his job, right? Have built this house. This house they built it in the 80s. It was major. All he fucked with was weed. Pulling semis into the property. So he built it like that. Big ass walls. The driveway was huge. If you see the pad, you you like, oh, this is like an old school dope dealer house. Like it's just like <laughs> Las Fachadas, ta todo, ta todo bien, ta todo bien viejo, you know, but but it's a badass property. And it was on the east side of TJ. And uh, like two blocks, and as a matter of fact, that street, his street was dirt still. And if you go like a block, you go down and make a right, that's where everybody throws their trash and sets the shit on fire. Oh, that's the shit. dumpster. <laughs> so there's always smoke and people burning their trash, right? So, <laughs> gone. So El Wedek takes care of the pad, he's our boy too. So we're like, hey, me? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, just, just pay me. So we're, doing our shit out of there, right? So one room is where you keep it, one room is where you cut, and one room is where you wrap. Drive is where you load. The whole production, the whole, assembly line. Yeah, yeah assembly line. The so, assembly so, line. So, so un día este güey me marca como la street, he was blowing everybody up, but I'm the only one que contestó. Hey, he's on his way. He's already halfway across the US. He's, he's, he'll be here. Come and get all your shit out of here. Clean up. There was only mess. There wasn't stuff there. There was just the mess the that we spoils. left. So entonces, ahí vamos, pinche fabuloso, <laughs> incense, cloro. We, we clean this whole shit up. So, so the to, you know, and we load everything up. And I had a, I had a Chevy Malibu, but it wasn't in my name because 
you know, we were just doing shit like that. Lo tenía el nombre de otro de mi boy. He wasn't there. Y este, so we load up and we end up, it's me, my boy, and this dude that was a professional handball player. This fool was crazy. His brother was an ex-player de las Chivas. Right. And he was retired, but all they did was play handball games, $5,000 games. Oh, six, shit. Crazy. And, and over there, the Las Canchas, they're huge. They're, they're over here, you know. I don't know handball was that big over there. Big. It's really? Se llama Fronton. Fronton? Yeah. Okay. Y entonces, es, this fool, es más... Uh, well, I want to say his name, but I don't want to say it. But he was, it, it was like some, like some, like he was the Jordan of handball, oh boy. His brother was el de really? las, el ex de las chivas. But este way también, this fool run miles every morning. Y este, we took him to help us clean because he was. We had a little crew that the puros. Okay. So we took that fool, and then um, so we ended up the puro shake. He ripped packages and on three black trash bags, oh, big man. ones. The whole trunk was. Pinches triple beams, uh, grease, the wrapping, the machine that sucks the air out the bags, every everything, the tape, the duct tape, the ev everything that you would need for an operation, right? Right. So when we come out, the plan is like, hey, wait, I'm gonna do a drive by. You throw the bags out, and nos vamos way. So while we're in there, I'm like, throw them out. He's like, nah, nah, not right here, my boy. He is the throw. I'm like, nah, throw them out. We're arguing right there in the dump yard. Throw them out, throw them out. No way, no way. Mas para go deeper. I'm like, no way, throw those shits out. And that little arguing, here come the cops, a truck oh, of the cops. Shit. So entonces, estos ways they see us, they threw a U-turn, they threw the lights, they pulled us Quick. over. So I'm driving, right? And then they're like, ¿De quién es el carro? La, no sé. I just kept saying, no sé. ¿Cómo que no sabes? Nah, pues no sé. Okay, salte el carro, por favor. And we all have, um, everybody got to see right now, if you were to have a, a, an ID or license, and TJ, yeah. man, you're in trouble. Really? Yeah, because it, it wasn't like that back then. Right there, it was just TJ. Anybody from anywhere, it could be a problem, you know? Okay. Now, I'm not saying that I was with the people, but, but I'm just, that's you know, this was my right. friends, you know? My, my little crew that, right. that I was fucking with at that time. Y, y este, so entonces, nos empiezan a interrogar. Salte del carro. I'm like, oh, man. So they open the trunk, right? And everything was wrapped up in bags, too. So when he rips the bags, he's like, ¿Qué es eso? It was two triple beans, one on top of the other one. Y la, oh, la neta, no sé. ¿Cómo que no sabes? No, no sé. He rips another one, and we had those big-ass butcher knives, because that's how you cut them. Because okay. los blocks tan, tan thick, así. That, so you need those real sharp butcher knives. Y este, ¿Qué es eso? I kept saying, no sé, they're tan rompiendo todas las bolsas, and it's everything. <laughs> everything, right? <laughs> so entonces, este, now they got my boy out. Now my boy is handcuffed to me. We're handcuffed like this, like side by side. And the dude, the handball player, he's oh. telling me, I'm going to run. And if he would have ran, they would have never caught him, because that fool that ran like six, seven miles every morning. Wake up and run like six, seven miles. This fool had crazy wind. That fool, <laughs> he would have been, he, he been gone. So I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, I'm gone. And we're like, you know, like. Y este, so then, they're like, ¿y esas bolsas qué? Because my boy was in the back with the three bags. The, the runner is riding shotgun with me. So when they go to the one bag and they're like, they rip it. Esa madre es como cornflakes. Sale un chingo de shake. And right when he said that, he told the other one, tenemos un 549 A, B, C, D, whatever <laughs> the, the code, fuck, the some code. kind of code. And he's like, y, ya valieron verga. And we're like, damn. And then he tells us, pa' quien trabajan? And we're like, no, pa' nadie. Díganme, pa' quien trabajan? But then they started acting scary. They were like, díganos, pa' quien trabajan? Oh. So we caught it. So we're like, oh, these fools are scared too. So we're, no. He's like, quien? Nadie? No, quien? Nadie? We just kept denying shit. Y entonces, este, we tell him, um, okay, si nos da como un, un, minuto, un minuto para hablar? So they let us huddle up, and we're like, everybody take everything you got out right now. So I had like $300 just because I was asleep when this shit, this whole shit, I, we're, we're asleep. This fool called 3, 4 in the morning. By the time I got all those products, pinches trapeadores, escobas, by the time we get there, 6, by the time, you know, right now, right now it's like around 10, 11. In the morning. You know, so he's like, um, can, we, can we huddle up? Is it cool? Give us a minute. So we huddle up. My boy had like 700 bucks, but like, you know, we had 10s and 20s and 5s. Aquel güey traía like en pesos. 
So it it would look like this, but it was only really like eleven hundred bucks. But right, but it, looked, it was like this. It was, it was like a, a wad, right? Y le dijimos, hey, oiga, denos chance, nos podemos arreglar. And that fool's like, pues, ¿cuánto traen? And we showed it to him, pues, traigo esto. ¿Se puede? That fool snatched it, took my handcuffs off, vayanse a la verga. Sobre. And that fool sped out, we start throwing everything out, <laughs> and we just got out of there. And that was your education on the corruption over nah, there. No, we got lucky because it could have went yeah, pretty totally much, wrong. Went. And, and um, I've seen people that happened to people, and they never came back. They could have gone you know, south. I have boys that that happened to, and that they never came back, you know? Yes, they... You know, that was just a little... So were you, you were doing that throughout the whole time you were out there in, in I mean, Mexico? I was just surviving, honestly. Yo, I, I don't know. I just, I was doing music too. And I just, how, I, how I had you, to How eat. were you doing music through all this madness? Okay, look. I remember one time I was stressed the fuck out. And I just like, I opened up the yellow pages in Mexico, in Guadalajara. I, I seen studios and I called one and they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, let me, I want to buy some hours. All right, I go. I bought two songs. These are like top secret. No one's heard these songs. I like let it all out right here. You know, like everything. I just let it out, how I was feeling and everything. Was that know? therapy for you? Studio. I think for me, my life, I think music's always been like the only thing that, went, like, because I will hear like rock bottom, basically. Right. Y la música is always like, even from when I was in L.A. Because, yeah, Luthi Miles over here, like, getting high, smoking primos. He, the, you know, and the hood was, was it, got, it got flooded with carga and and you know we get caught up in all these things and 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 but the music always made me like you know so so when I recorded those ones I was like it lit that 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 fuse one more time but I didn't get to record for a long time so I'm in TJ and there's this swap meet in TJ so I'm a las cinco ideas whoever's watching this you guys already know it's underground. You go these stairs and it's under the whole. It's a big ass really indoor, fucking subterranean it's swap. Gangster swap is subterranean. Yeah, so it, it's it's a like sotano. A, yeah, un pinche <laughs> so it's huge, right? So again, man, I want to just let's go out, man. I need to be around some people. I need to breathe. I need to like kind of get normalized a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So and it's crazy because when we were right there, a cop stopped us in there and it was like, a ver, vengan para acá. A que se dedican? They, that's the first line always. A que se dedican? And my hands, I got calluses for, I've always been working for just construction and shit. Just working. So he, he touches my boy's hand. He says, eso es en la construcción. And that fool touched his hands and he's like, what, drywall? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what kind of construction? <laughs> right. He touches my shit. He's like, oh, this fool got this. This way trae pinches calluses in las manos. Y ya, but it, it was like a cheap Some random pop. shit, huh? Yeah, municipal, like, out of shape, fat fool, whatever. He... And then I seen a un poster, the un rapper that I had met online. This one AOL was around. <laughs> y este, <laughs> but it said a Mexican, like a TJ rap group. And then the dude, okay, there was a shop, right? Right. Where this poster was at, where they had like, it was like the homie. El puesto de los homies, donde tenían pinches que Ben Davis y que la verga oh, y que. That's what, that's what they were the shop. They had me. the Psycho Room poster right there <laughs> and all right. this shit, right? Y me dicen, ¿qué? ¿Lo conoces? Le hago, nah, pero se me hace parecido. ¿Quién es? Ah, es mi compa el virus. I'm like, yeah, yo lo conozco, pero no lo conozco en persona. ¿Quieres que le marque? Márcale. I called this fool. He was in there, he didn't answer. They gave me a number, I called him some other day. He's like, Ca cale pa' estudio. So I show up to Otay by the airport to a badass pad. I walk in, shit's hooked up. And they have a studio in it, a real studio, not little computer. This is a real studio. A real studio. Inside huh? of a house. So, but when I knock on the door, they open the door, he sale el cynic, the street platoon. Oh, and I'm like, what the, f el wait a man. He was like taken back a little bit, like, man, you good, dog? Like, everybody's están hablando de ti allá. Everybody's like, like, you know, like worried or not, not, not worried, but he was just like, your, your name's like ringing bells and, you know, you good? I'm like, you had, you know, bien pinche señorito, like fucking, you know, fed it. Señorito. You know, fed it. I had some timbles. I remember I had some Timberlands and, you know, yeah, of course. You know, and, and my glasses and a little sweater, like, zipped up, like, you know, some cool shit. Y, y, y yeah, I get in there, and then the fool's like, look, I'm, you, did you think this beat's cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, meet me next week. I go, we go to the studio Los Tucanes de Tijuana. They had gave them that studio, but they ended up re repoing it, like the people from TJ. Okay. You know, because they started oh, singing right. for other people. Yes. So, but nevertheless, I was like, okay, this is dope. I'm in the pinche studio Los Tucanes, cool. I recorded a verse for this dude, and that really set it off. 
So before that, I had got um, I would write, I was write raps, even though I was on the, I was writing raps, you know. He, he before all that, when I was still at the mansion, right. And when I when I went to that studio, I was already living on the east side of T, like all this other shit had happened. That whole chase, I was already living over here. But before that, when I was in the mansion, un día el Ernie G me manda un CD, it gets to me. A CD with beats, 15 beats on it. And that became the song, um, The Devil's Inside and Do You Know Who We Are. Those two songs, I wrote those together and those two beats were on there. But I didn't, I didn't get a chance to record. So here I go again, Yellow Pages, no Google, no none of that shit. <laughs> Busco, Marco, 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 me contesto un güey. And I could tell que es de, es, es de Sudamérica. Y le digo al güey, hey, ¿tú de dónde eres? Uh, soy chileno. This fool, these guys became my boys. They ended up becoming like, I became, I fuck with them to this day. That's what's up. Y este, and it was crazy because, so I go record, right? No, I go to the studio. I go, well, I need to go check it out. Tienes Pro Tools, tienes todo. Simón, vente. They have a closet, de puros mics. To me, I was in heaven. I was like, oh shit, Neumanns, Sennheisers, like mics. And when I'm you get to pick no, your mic right there or something? Nah, yeah, if you, if you know your mics, if you know, they ain't yeah, gonna, they gonna <laughs> tell you, but if, but if you know your shit, you'll be like, hey, sacate el pinche Sennheiser pa' acá. That's what's up. But they were like scared of me. They thought I was gonna steal some shit. They're watching me <laughs> and they let me know that there's a camera in the mic room and there was, there was a little camera in the corner. They were kind of like iffy with me, right? So I ended up, I started recording. This became um, Revenge of Cold, the album Revenge of Cold. I started piecing it together. And then um, one day the dude was like, el chileno, you know, like they eat different. Like Argentinos, I like Argent Argentinos, they eat big ass steaks with bread. Right. Chilenos are stored like that, but this dude was, I thought he was just poor because he's like, because he, he was like, he, he, okay, look, one day el way, he tells me, he tell, he, my name was Ángel, right? So he's like, Ángel, ¿tú piensas que me puedes prestar 500 dólares? I'm like, ¿para qué? And he's like, es que quiero comprar un aparato pa, pa yo poder, he was working at the studio, but I want to get my own shit so I can start selling music because he had just got married and brought his wife from Chile. And um, he's like, so that I could um, start making some side money, make a little bit more. And I told him, you know what? ¿Y cuánto te sale eso? Ah, me sale como 1,500. Ah, no hay pedo, yo te lo compro. Te lo compro todo, pero tú me haces el paro con beats, custom made okay. shit. Y, y, y te voy a pagar todavía por los beats, pero me haces un descuento. Oh, fuck yeah, Ángel, come. Man, you know what? He, then he calls me. He's like, he gets the shit, whatever, and he calls me one day. Hey, este, este, his wife. Okay. She's like, hey, yo, este, we want to invite you over for dinner, right? And these, 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 this couple, they're Christians. They're, they're some Christianos, like, but they're not like annoying. Right. They're like open-minded, cause I would just fuck with them all day. But what about aliens and <laughs> and all this shit, you know? And I'll be like. <laughs> and, and then, and then you know, like, I was right. already watching YouTube and like, hey, but aquí dice que, que, you know, God is really plural. You're going to with them. Yeah, Elohim. And I'm, I'm like bringing all this shit up. And, you know, and these dudes that, you know, they, they knew their shit, right? And he was chill. He never pressed me or nothing. So I go to eat with them, right? And they're like, yeah, spaghetti. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll fuck that shit up. And that shit comes and it's like noodles with like pieces of tomato. I'm like, what the fuck's the meat? So I thought they were poor. I was like, man, I start being pobres, you know? Me aguité, you know, I ate it, you know, because they did it from their heart, you know? Yes, so, so, yes. so, and then, all right, hey, gracias, ya me tengo que ir because we had our operation going on. So we would work from night to the morning, like not all night, but we, uh, that's how our operation that was, that was a hustle. So I had to leave. So he's like, no, 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 espérate, antes de que te vayas, we want to pray for you. And I was like, what? We want to pray for you. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. So they like, we kind of like huddled up like some football shit like this. And they start praying. And like some weird shit happened to me. Like my heart got warm and some pesadas salió las lágrimas. And like some energy went inside my body. Some, some spiritual, yeah. had like a spiritual. Um, Awakening. Something happened, right? Y, y me saqué de onda and they're blowing me up. My boy's like, hey, wait, get the fuck over here. You're, you're already late. So I didn't want to que, que me miraran, que I had my eyes were red, y que I was like, over here, emotional and shit. So we rent un hotel para bañarme. I get a hotel so I could take a shower. I'm over here, I go to a pharmacy, I get drops. I'm like, do I look right? Because you know, when you get emotional, even yeah, your nose gets red. You get a little puffy. So I'm like, I'm over here, I'm, ahorita ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Just start a little bit, I'm on my way. And they, they just, they became like my friends, like, like real friends. And, and, uh, and when I was over there, you know, like, they, were, they had this church, right? 
Now, this fast forward, now I have a daughter. And my mom, she's, she's crazy Christian, you know? She, she's not annoying, but she's Christian mm -hmm. like that. And, 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 you know, for some reason, I would hear my mom, I could hear her voice be like, hey, because, see, when, when she was born, la, la mamá nos separamos y yo me quedé con la niña. So I was, on, I was riding dirty with my baby. Right. So I could hear my mom's voice saying, hey, lleva esa niña a la iglesia. You guys need God. So I was like my uncle. I was pagan as fuck. I, I got into all kinds of shit. I was reading and studying, and I was just like, it was almost like if my house was my cell, because I had every, I, no salía, y ahí, full-blown gym, un room pa' puro PlayStation, otro un studio, her room, my room. I had like a four-bedroom condo by this time. Yeah, I already had bought my shit. I would sit in this church, do all my texts, everything from the church, you know? Y a veces it was weird because I feel like the pastor was talking to me. I'd be like, oh shit. The fuck, this fool, like, te me está hablando, like, what, like that's what, what God, or, or yeah, the, the gods are, like, sending me messages, and, and I used to like going there, you know, and, but I liked it because my daughter, and then, like, Christians, they don't have, like, baptisms. They do some shit on their presentan un baby. So, but see, this, this church was fucking high tech. This shit was like a Bad Bunny concert. They shit had major fucking screens, <laughs> live band, lasers. It was popping. And it was online, and it was fucking streaming online. So that's why I would sit. I oh, never yeah, sat with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then when they would do the, like the camera would turn, I'd do some shit like, <laughs> so I was always on it, you know? So un dia voy, and that shit's happening. They're like the Christian version of baptizing kids, right. right? So they're like, hey, Ankel, you should go do this. And I'm like, but it's online. And I'm like, oh, and I'm <laughs> you and you and <laughs> can't do it. And she's like, yeah, we'll do it for you. And they baptized my daughter for me. Gave me a little certificate and everything, you know? So, um, I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, my, my, my journey in Mexico wasn't all gangster shit. Right. It was real life shit. You know, like, I went through a lot of, like, real life situations where, like, human situations. You know, this ain't no cartel movie. Right. There, it has elements of todo. This, this journey tiene elementos de todo. De, de, oh, it's de an, struggle, it's, it's de hambre, de, de, de miedo, anxiety. You know, I'm with the little girl and I'm like worried about all kinds of shit. And now, see, before she came, I got myself in all kinds of trouble. That trouble, don't forget. It, ahí está. Mm. Now I have a daughter and now I'm concerned because at first, well, you, you know, we, we, we're concerned for our loved ones, especially our, when you, the kids come into the picture. Unless you're a fucking scumbag, you don't give a fuck about yeah. your kids. There you go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, but, you know, she came into my life. I have her. We're riding dirty. That the, the thing in the diaper bag sometimes, sometimes not, you know. You don't know from one day to another if you're going to get killed. The cops are going to come break your door down. Yeah, yeah, I see. 15 years of that shit like that. <sighs> how, how do you deal with that as a father? Did you, did you, did she know at any point of this? She's fucking girly as fuck. My, 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 my the, like la chiquita que tengo ahorita, my daughter Scarlett, is fucking bossy. No, she's different. Her. <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't know because I had her in private school since she was three years old. Okay. Swimming class, dance class, piano class. Over everything. there. Over there. Oh, okay. So I was just like maneuvering, sneaking to these places. So, no, you know, like sometimes we couldn't go because over there there's random checkpoints here, random checkpoints there. It might be the military. It might be the ones que yo le saca la vuelta a los estatales because those are the ones that are really looking for fugitives. Right. So that, that's, that, that was it. So now let's get into the point where your whole world comes crashing down when you finally get arrested. How did that come about? Okay. By now, I'm on a fucking... How many years has this been? Now it's like 14 and some change. Wow. You know, and, and, and now I'm accepting it like, fuck it, this is me. I'm, I'm cool. I'm living better than I lived in the U.S. I got my own pad. I got several cars. I got money. I got my bills paid off. My daughter's in private school. It's fucked up, but nothing's perfect in this world, you know? And, and some people have it worse than me. There's yeah. fugitives that are fucking broke as fuck. Yes. I seen homies that go over there and they still want to be homies as fugitives. Yeah. Ball headed, head tattoos, the like shit don't, that shit don't work over there. That shit don't work. And, and, and I always mention this because I've seen it in the comments and, and, and or fools me mandan screenshots que, que some, oh, some fool said that you were over there fucking, you wouldn't give nobody eye contact, that you would look down. 
And I'll be like, yeah, bitch, I was a fucking fugitive. What the fuck? I'm going to be like looking at people. And I, I mean, I'll, I'll like if I seen you, I'll, I'll probably look. But, you know, I want to make no eye contact with you. You don't want to sit there and have a conversation. I don't want to. Nah, nah. nah. Okay. You, don't, you, don't, you don't do that. And they, or hey, that fool's over there fucking dressing like a lame or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Just pendejos, man. You know, ta, like puras pinches mamadas like that, you know. But they don't know what it's like. Yeah, and, no and, and all the fugitives that I met that are long run fugitives, low key as fuck. Yeah, you got to be. And, and I met a, I, I'm not gonna say I met thousands, but I met a, at least a good twenty. And and that's what I'm saying. I was blessed to like have the opportunity to be around these self made people. Get man, they were they they gave they give you hope this because it's like you. look this fool, this fool owns like five taxis, a fucking restaurant. He does shit on the side. He's living well. Like you would never think. Unless, you know, and, and I met some in the county. Once I came, I, there was fools they were bringing back, right. and we would all share stories, and it would be the same. Like, man, I was in Vallarta all the time on vacation. Like me, I, I recorded albums in Vallarta, in Cabo, in Puerto Peñasco, and I, I would... You I would Mexico. I would do this shit. Y me llevaba la pinche, a little studio, a little backpack portable. I will record anywhere. Like, I would, she would go with me. I would take her. Like, man, we're, nah, we're going to go here for like 10 days. You know, save my little money, go record. Like vac record and then just vacate the rest. How, how old was she when when they finally all came crashing down? How old were you, Kay? You were like seven or eight when they got me. Yeah. You were like eight, right? Nine. You, you were you? Remember any of that? She was in school, cause I, I I by that time yeah she were like half and half. You're la mom. Okay. So el lunes la llevé a la escuela y me agarraron un martes. Y este, but see even before that it was it was it was tough because. I started seeing my wife, who became my wife, okay. and and she started coming to see. And it was crazy because when I le marqué, right? I googled her. This is a crazy part. I googled her. Like it was weird. I was I was in. Um, she was so, in the states at the time. She was in the states. Okay. I, I was in Sonora, and and for some reason I, I was uh, I was in a vacation spot in Sonora, and um I was for I was just thinking about oh, man. I wonder whatever happened to her because I was dating her before I had went on the run. And I was just thinking about her, not knowing that she had just been right there in the same spot like a month before. Because her uncle, now that I know, we go with her. her uncle has fucking a location over there where you at the at, uh, in um, Sonora Puerto Puerto Peñasco, right? And then um, so I get back from Puerto Peñasco one time, y le marco a su office because her number was on there. Le marco, and I was like, hey. And then she, first her, for one of her workers, made me call back. And when I called back, I, they're like, well, what name should I tell her? I just tell her it's an old friend. From where or what? Just tell her the code, the code name is the big house because she went to see me one time in the mansion. Okay. Like three times. So I told her, tell her the big house. Or uh, some, it's one, some code. Something like that. And then it's the, so when I called her, like, hey. And then she's like, hey. And I'm like, don't say names or nothing. This is me. Okay. And she's like, I don't care where you're at in the world right now. I'm going to jump on a plane. I'm there. Where are you at? And um, both motherfucker fell in love. You guys had that connection, she was, huh? Hell yeah. Next fucking three, four days later, she was there. And she was like, what? I thought you were in China. You're right here? What the <laughs> you, fuck? I would have been coming. You were hiding in plain sight. Man. Hiding in plain sight. A veces I'll go underground. You got to maneuver. It's strategic, you know? It's sometimes like Sun Tzu Art of War type shit, you know? He, and and like shit would come in waves. A veces, see, look, right before they got me, I was fucking up. Cuando ya andaba todo enamorado, going on vacation, I would never show my arm, the HPS. My hair started getting shorter. My ah, my, my you know, and I was just like, you're getting comfortable. I was getting comfortable, and and you know, I was in love. And she was like, man, you know what? That's it. We're gonna get a lawyer. You're coming back. I'm bringing your ass back. And I was getting everything ready, but I hadn't told her, and it was fucking me up. Andaba todo. I was in love, but I was I didn't want to get separated from her. Of course not. You know, because I knew I was gonna have to go to the county. There's no telling how long I was gonna stay there, fighting it, and there's no telling that I was gonna even come out. Yeah. There's no telling, you yeah, know. You could have so, been doing life in prison. So I was just distraught, la neta. I was like kind of yeah. torn apart. And I remember the last day that I was with her in 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 over there in TJ it was a Sunday night, right? Well, I was with her Monday morning when I took her to school, but Sunday night. I was in the room and I was all fucked up. I felt like I was lying to her. Like I wanted to tell her, but I didn't know how to. T- I, I would tell her. And like she's a little girl. At this she's time. a little girl. But you're eight, still eight, feeling eight, that. Yeah, I'm like she's whatever eight or whatever she was seven, eight, nine, whatever. And then, and then she she was in her room 
Because she would, she, she would always sleep in my room. She's a fuck, daddy's, daddy's little girl. <laughs> Siempre llegaba y se dormía en mi cama, you know? But she had, even though she had her own room. But in these days, she was coming into her like, oh, this is like my little princess room. I'm, I'm liking this shit. And then she came from her room to my room. And she told me, she gave me a kiss. She's like, daddy, I love you. Okay, good night. Vete a dormir. So she went back to her room. Like 30 seconds later, she kept doing that like four or five times. And that made me more guilty. I'm like, damn, what que chingos was said, you know? I fucking, I take her to school. They were already on me. They had been watching me, following me, everything. They were drone, How long were they aerial pictures. For? The US, two, two months. Wow. And then they gave the info to, it's because they were trying to catch me doing some other shit, but I was, oh, is that what it I was, was on cruise control. I wasn't doing nothing. I just, I, you know, I was just the music. And I had my little businesses over there already, like generating. Making, yeah. They were they were generating, so I was good. I wasn't balling, but I was good. I could get anything, buy anything, she wanted anything, anything for either of us at any time. You were living the American dream, but in Tijuana. And, yeah. Y este, so entonces este that that Tuesday, they just they got me right there. I went to throw the trash because I lived in a gated community on a gated street, and the trash is outside the gated street. You, right. you buzz it and you go out and you throw in the little dumpster, put the lock on it. And when I came out, I, see, I was watching them because I had cameras the whole shit. I had cameras everywhere. And I was seeing them. And I was like, man, fucking, there's, and there's been cars parked on that same spot. I, I, I was on everything. You start, like, it's because mathematical. Everything starts adding up. Everything. That's how it is. You're with, living you know, on paranoid status all yeah. these years. So, so I think it's them. I'm, I'm, I'm bullshitting, wasting time. And I'm like, man, I'm tripping. Estoy ondeando. No es nada. Let me just go. When I, I get, I come out the gate, I throw the bag. I was, I was going to put it in, but I'm like, fuck, they're looking at me. I just threw the bag. Then I buzzed the gate closed so I could start closing so I could just get in. But a truck was coming straight at me. Boom, and knocked the, the whole gate out. It's this, these are big gates, as big as this. It knocked the whole gate off the rail, and I jumped out of the way. And then fools were already, and they were in another car. So they came, they tackled me, cuffed my feet, wrapped me up. Boom, and it was over, five. 10 seconds, not like five seconds, I don't know, maybe three seconds, it's quick. So you know right away. And then, no, I didn't know because, see, there was a lot of shit going on. I just thought it was my enemy because two weeks before, there was a dude parked outside my house and this dude, the heavy duty. Why is he parked? No one knows where I live, but this other dude knows where I live. And I knew, what, right when, when I knew who it was that was there, I'm like, ah, oh, hell nah. Bad news. That means a SWAT team's coming any day now to get me like that's how he moved and I just I, it's a lot of things her death uh, the government the case I'm in love all this Man. shit estoy como um, you know you're in turmoil huh? I'm in turmoil and, and you get a you know compartment everything yeah y este y yeah they get me and then I find out, okay, yeah, they are son estatales. They take me to the headquarters. That's that one picture they show me when I'm right oh, there. Oh, yeah, the famous picture. Right yeah, there. that one. And they <laughs> were like infamous. ready for it because the paparazzi was waiting. They were there. Ready. They were there. The news was all there. What are you thinking of this? Well, you're there and you're seeing all this picture going <sighs> on. I, I was just like stuff. a little bit. You know what? Honest, not, not too. I, see, because I don't want to sound like it's a it's fucking not, a success story, but I did feel like a little bit of relief. I was going to ask you. Because it was just like, it was like, so much finally, weight on my shoulders. And they, okay, fuck it. They got me. And then, you know, they ended up being cool. They let me make a call to her. I called her to her school. She starts crying and screaming. And was, that was another fucked up. Uh. Y luego, pues, y luego, I hear I'm, I'm off to the U.S. Because you're thinking you may never see her as a free man again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I would call her. I would always call her from the county jail. Like, I would have phone time all day, you know. But how long could that last, you know? I had it good in there, but but you know that that don't last forever for everybody. So, so now you're in the county jail, and you're going from Angel. No, I was. Well, now you're Seba, that, Seba, from Sebastian to <laughs> to fuck <laughs> from Sebastian. Oh, now you're Sebastian, way. Sebastian. Now, did you just did you look at the at the yellow pages and say this is the name, or did you pick names you liked? Man, let's keep it real. I mean, I just pick a name that's roll off my tongue easy oh, that I can, can remember, remember. remember. Oh, yeah that makes and, a lot of sense know, that makes know. a lot of sense and so and, so Sebastian's in the county now and all of a sudden Sebastian's it's Jose got, again now got a, not even Jose he's got to come back to me Conejo ah uh, that was that, that was it because see that's what I'm saying when I was over there I don't fuck with homies that's what I'm saying I fuck with homies that I fuck with but if there was homies on the street yeah you're not I'm not trying to talk to, like uh, I says yeah I'm homies because a homie could recognize a homie even though I'm looking low-key normal yeah. 
you know, they were, they were... The vibe. Hey, what's up, my G? Hey, que onda? Que I'll talk like a straight paisa. I'll flip it on him. They'll ask me in English, I'll answer in Spanish. <laughs> and then I'll just like shake them, you know, and I will never tell nobody I was from Harpies. Never Nothing, tell, yeah, none, none of that. You're on the run. If you were, point. like, if I really fuck with you, which was only really a handful, they knew. Because la, la, la mayoría of mis boys eran de, de, de Southeast Logan Heights. Okay. And those are my boys I used to go to Sweat Lodge with, and we was always at the Sweat Lodge sweating, and, and that's, you know, that's who I fuck with. It was just like a- That was your core group. My core group, you know, and everybody was low key, and, and you know, they look out, and, and, you know, I had homies from my hood that were over there, but they were low key, and I would fuck, like, you were only but, messing out guys at your level. Yeah, that yeah. Like I wasn't that. trying to like, like, nah. cause, cause, see, I was over there los casi los fifteen years, right? From when I got there to when I left, I started seeing deportees double, triple, quadruple. Oh, that's right. And then, and then there was spots where where I would go hide in plain sight. There, like for instance, there was a place where I would take her. It's called Mundo Divertido, little mini Disneyland, right? Here, I'll buy her the little pass, the little wristband, give her a gang of coins, go. And I'd be there with my phones, doing all my texts, all my business. Yo, ahí, while she played. Nobody knew I was in there. I'll be in the cut. And she, two, and three hours. Was in yeah, there. Well, I'm eating pizza with her, ice cream, playing video games. We'll do all that shit. Pure dad and daughter shit, right? But as time went on, dude started showing up with fucking, oh, that dude's wearing a Cowboys jersey. That dude got an L.A. hat. Oh, that dude's on the Raiders shit. Oh, shit. I started, and it's crazy because I was over when we were over there, right? We were a team, right? And um, one time there was an issue with another team that I, I we didn't even know, but we found out there was another team. Right. So there was this issue, and they brought both teams together to everybody fuck somebody's lying, and and one team. So I was like, oh, oh shit. shit! But they were like us. Yeah. You could never. I would never would have known if they would have. I've never. I I seen. You know, you know, they got their, their symbols that, that really... Yeah, stand out. That stand out, and, and but they were real covered up. They were like us, like never... Low pro. Low pro, low key, real respectful, like us. Only talk Spanish. They Like, wow, nada that's... de pocho, nada de esa madre. Puro, puro, puro pinche mexicano. Mexico, puro mexicano. Y, y, y este... So, now I'm in the county. Now you're in the county, Back, back forward, because this is a jumping back, back and yeah. forth story, you know, so... I'm in the county, I'm calling her, I'm, you know, it's kind of awkward at first, you know, like, because I haven't been around homies like that in a long time. <laughs> Man, you're with the and business, then I, I, I hit the, when I, yeah, well, okay, pues, yes, I'll county, processing, up, down, whatever. Uh -huh. Ya me mandan a Supermax. I walk through the dorm, the first thing they ask me is, you got any dope? And I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you brought some clavo, homie, for the yeah, casa, yeah, carnal. Yeah, now I'm like, nah. Y me dieron quebrada, let me sleep. I slept for like three days. That was the first time I slept. Three days. That you actually got some sleep. Sleep. I slept for three days. I'll get up for channel, but go right back to sleep. I was so tired. My body was just exhausted. Well, your body, your mind. The my whole mind, thing. my body, everything. My soul. I was just like, I was I was out of it. And then I started like. You kind of defeated? Yeah, I just was like, I was, man, I was, you know, you I'm not saying I was living like a king, but I was over there eating mariscos. Venezuelan food, Argentinian yeah, food. I was you're just living eating. good and you got your daughter and yeah. your life is going. And yeah, now, so now you're sitting in the county jail. Eating with soy, whatever the fake meat is or whatever, soy, soy meat. <laughs> I don't know. And, and the mystery meat with fucking every, sopas. Everything is salt or everything is sugar. It's like yeah. it's all bad for you, you know. And now I'm just, I mean, but you know, there's a lot of cool homies, good homies I met in there and shit. And, of course. And then, and cuando yo llego, it's like everybody knows. It's yeah. like I'm fucking. Snoop Dogg's in there or whatever, or not that bad. But, well, no, as, no, as but, far as the homies go, yeah, for sure, Conejo. They, Everybody they, knew your name. Everybody knew your story. Yeah. And then I even, fools were even sending me, they started sending me dope. They were like, oh, we're going to get this food. Strong. I'm thinking, let's get <laughs> no, this food. No, they were just strong. thinking they were hooking you up, homie. Yeah, you know, and this, I gave the shit away, you know. I'm like, really? I'm not. Fuck. Some of those watching right now saying, damn, you get my fucking clavo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope he's out, who, whoever. <laughs> You know, and, and I started getting kites, and it was kind of like... Well, it was in the news. What year was that when you got... 2016, November 2016. It, it, if you think about it, it's really not that long ago. Nah, right? nah. And I was, I was only there like a year and a half, and I never even went to prelim. I just was go to arraignment, and they postpone, postpone, postpone. So you fought it for a year and a half in the county? A year and a half, and then um, one... Uh, okay, so first, uh, first court, you're looking at the death penalty. Mm. Fuck me up again. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm in there and I'm like, everybody in the tank's like, damn, 
Conejo, Death Penalty. Oh, shit. I know that shit rumor went to hit the whole county. Because sure. it's like a network of intelligence. <laughs> the, the, the LA County <laughs> Jail, right? <laughs> Todos hablando, wey. Y este... Y, y pues... So then, but then then live. Y luego este... At one point, after like a year and some change, llegó mi lawyer, good news, bad news. What's the bad news? Did you have this attorney all the way through? Yeah. Okay. Jewish gangster form. That's the ones you want, homeboy. Yeah. Y, y este... Y de, de hecho, cuando venía a visitarme, siempre que venía, me decía, Shalom, babe. Shabbat Shalom, homeboy. Oh yeah. Y, y, y este, and you pound me, así en el bueno. <laughs> shalom, Shalom. Y este, y entonces este, um, he's just like, look, the bad news is they just offer you three years. And my man, that's fucking great news. Yeah. I'm taking it. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Risk all this. Nah, because fools were getting like crazy triple digits and, uh -huh. and, and high double digits and ah, just a lot of despair, you know? And, they, and, and, and there was fools, there was a couple fools fighting the death penalty, uh, uh, Asian dude, and, which was cool as fuck. He was from uh, Asian boys. Cool as fuck. He kicked them more with the homies than, 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 than you know, uh, his side. Right. He has the, you know, I don't know. It's you just saw everybody almost, getting broken off, homeboy. Yeah, broken off. And, and then I remember when I came back from the attorney visit, and man, they offered me three years. Oh, all these fotolos. Who's se aguitaron? Se aguitan. I mean, they're happy for you, yeah, but, yeah. you know, they don't want to see you leave. <laughs> you know, like, e, 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 pues, that's like, it's good news, but it's like, fuck, because not everybody has the same, the same uh, luck or opportunity yeah, or of whatever. Of course not, yeah. Y, y yeah. So, yo, I, I, was, I was like, I was with my girl and I'm like, man, I'm take it. let's take it, take it, okay, take it. Y le estoy marque, marque, like the day before I'm a lawyer. And I'm like, Stuart, I'm taking it. No, you're not, Jose. I'm going to get you something better. And I'm like, that is better. There is nothing better. I'll see you in court tomorrow. You know, make it, this fool, I was mad. I was like, I, was I, I get to court. I'll always be the first guy in court because I had a pay, paid attorney. So I said, where you go? Llega bien happy el güey. I'm going to be right back. Se va como por unos 20, 30 minutes. Llega para atrás el güey. You'll be home tonight by 7, 7 p.m. I'm going to get you a, a voluntary manslaughter with a six-year joint suspension, five-year probation. You'll walk out today. You take it? I'm like, fuck yeah. My pops didn't have cancer. I, I want to see my family. Mm. I haven't seen the family, you know, and my, I miss my sisters. You know, I'm, I'm, I miss everybody. I miss the whole family, you know. I I just want to go home by then. By now, it's been almost like 16 years and a half. I haven't been home. So I took it. I took the deal. That was the last food they let out of CCB court that night. And that's it. I, I called her. She, we started crying. I called did, her, FaceTime. Did, did it feel kind of unreal when they said, you know, the judge get the gavel and said, give you a sentence? Did it kind of feel like this ain't really happening right now? Mm, okay, I'm trying to see. Because when it happened, when, well, they told me in the tank. Right. So in the tank, everybody's like, let me get that fool's number, the lawyer's number. Let me get that fool's number. <laughs> you, better, you better have some money like, to pay that, I, boy. Yeah, I was like. that shit ain't cheap. Homie. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, hold up. Let me make sure I sign. Y luego ya empezó a dar la tarjeta. Right. Y, y I knew. And then my mom, I seen her out there and one of my sisters. And then my, they're like crying. Like they can't, they can't believe it. I bet. I'm like looking at my wife, like smiling, like what the fuck? Right. Crazy. And there was this one lady that would write me, right? She, she's like homies with Victory Outreach. And she came with like all these pastors. And, I've been praying for you, homeboy. Yeah, yeah, no. And, and, and she told me, like, desde antes, you're going to get out on your next court date. I promise you. It's like psychic shit, right? Y este, y, y yeah. And even my girl was like, man, who, who was that lady? Like, she came in there like she owned the court building, like. With that pastor, whoever they were, like Victor, she, you know, shout out to them. Side, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had God on her side. Could so, have... so, yeah, you know, you go under, come out another court, sign it, take me to the tanks. They're deep, you know, now, nah, wayside. Those are leaving. It starts getting smaller, 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 smaller. Then I just, and they put me in a little last tank by myself. I'm like, man, maybe this shit's not real. Right. It's already, it's five. Yes, there is no more court. Court's closed. Why are they ain't letting me out? But I walked out at like seven. Ya tan un paper jumpsuit, black Crocs. Man, was where, where was your daughter at this time? She was in TJ. She was in Tijuana. Yeah, so with her mom. So entonces, este, en, en cuanto we walked to the parking structure to get in my sister's car, le digo, hey, mazle FaceTime. 
See, because I'm not doing FaceTime over there in Mexico. Not really, here and there. But I would never show my face if I did. Because I would FaceTime you guys, right? Sometimes, like, for school stuff, but I wouldn't show my face or... or I'll fuck around, <laughs> right. put on a mask or something. You Sebastian. Know? Yeah. <laughs> y este. So we call her and she starts crying because she Poor. thinks I'm a cutout. She, she thought that they were fucking with her. And then we just like, we both like broke down and, you know, yeah, nah. And then I just, that's it. It started the new journey. So now you got to, man, you're just going from culture shock to culture shock, man. You, you went from Mexico and now you're back in the States. How was that now? All of a sudden, because a lot has changed well, look, since you left and you came back. Okay. But my wife, she's from Ventura. Okay. So I go to my mom's house after this. I go there. They do a little barbecue for me. And then um, and I tell my mom, I'm married. And then she's like, what? I'm going. Bye, mom. Yeah. Ya me voy. ¿Cómo? ¿No te vas a quedar aquí at least one night? No, ya me voy. Es mi esposa. Estoy casado. I'm out. So, so um, I go to Ventura. I was, I, I was like, where the fuck am I? This shit looks like the woods, like the exit. Now that I, I take these, I love these roads now. I, these, all, these, all these back roads. Yeah, they're nice and windy with trees. Ah, I love them and shit. They're like, for sure. They're like green and mountains and bushes and plants and flowers and. But with that first night, I was just that same feeling again. Like when you're out of your comfort zone and you just feel it right here in your gut. Like, I remember we we. I was my girl had me a whole like suit ready, you know, like little Under Armour sweat kit. That's right. And then I'm like pulling right here, go to. Like, she's like, yeah, you can get socks for me. Metela Ross. I was like, that was the first time I go to a Ross in my life. <laughs> and I'm like, man, this shit pretty cool. That's right. You know, but but later I find out that uh, fools be embarrassed to go to Ross. You know. Yeah, oh yeah, they be trying to floss too much. Yeah, and I ran into fools at Ross, and they're like, oh shit, because I, you know, I'll pull up in Ross and give a fuck. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yes, <laughs> Go to Ross and then I go to the Rouse to buy shit, you know? And I remember the second night I was home, me get three big ass sandwiches. Like crate, like, you know, like turkey, lettuce, tomato, stack. cheese, stacked. Me comí uno, my girl's knocked out, and I'm fucking with Netflix, you know? So I'm in the living room like, damn, all right. Me chingo uno, and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I want another one. Two, and then the third <laughs> one, no me lo cabe, but, I, but I, I remember that night, that second night, three sandwiches and shit. Y este... I, I get going. I go to this pro- probation. I'm, I'm even though I'm staying in Ventura, I got probation in L.A. Right, which was like a blessing too because L.A. is not gonna drive out to Ventura to fuck they with me like that. Me time, right, they're, they're not. And then, and then uh, I had a cool as fuck. And then she, and then I started into the movie stuff. And then she was just like showing off, like man, my, my probationary. Oh, they have a name for us, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this fool's doing movies now, like, and he's like you know cool like and then one time i was trying to go to the bahamas right so i called her for a month and nunca me contestó porque allá, you know la county we have fucking that case files up the ass yes. like they, and 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 i was over there i would go to a crenshaw what is it exposition uh, yeah that was where it was at right and i walk in i'm like man everybody looks like a fucking bum everybody look homeless i'm like all these food why are they even on probation like uh-huh. they look they look like uh mental like uh, people have mental issues and I just, I'll be the only one nicely dressed. I'll be like waiting for my name and shit. <laughs> y, y, and so I tell her, una vez voy, le digo, man, Miss Andrews, I was, I was calling you for like a month and a week. She was just like, why? I go, I want to go to Bahamas with my girl. She's like, you should have just left. Oh, and I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> now you tell me. Yeah, she said, you know, she was real cool with me. She gave me action because I was running around in New York. I started going there. We started doing the you shows. You started networking very quick. Yeah, yeah. I just like, I felt like I hit the ground running. You, you, you ain't stopped. Because I feel like when I was over there, I was just like, um, like, like, como este, speaking it into like, like, I don't know, it was weird. Like, to fruition. I'm going to do this when I get Because I will see everybody, right? I'll have my little laptop and I'll be right there watching everybody from. It's crazy because I remember when the first time I seen prayers on YouTube. Right. I'm like, man, I don't fuck with that fool. And, and Kat Von Day, I used to see her all the time because of the tattoo show. Right. And I remember she was tattooing in Miami. And I'm like, man, all these fools are whack except for her. She tats like a homie. Yeah, yeah. Powder shades. She's like a G, you know? And, 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 I, and I would be rooting for her. And then, or just anybody, like, let's just say even like como Esteban Oreo or any of the homies. And I, and, and, and I would see this online and I just get, it made me get homesick. Yeah. But, I, but I would like, but I would like, um, 
like I, I don't know if I was talking to myself or thinking to myself, but I knew that if I could, I, I always knew it. if I could get there, I, I ended up fucking with con todos. I know I could, if I could get there, I, I feel like, and then I, you see, I was dropping albums nonstop, and 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 even that that process of albums, you could tell what I was going through because some albums are lit. Right. We still got time on there. Yeah, thirty minutes. Oh shit. We're so getting, we're getting there. We we'll have to reload that shit. Yeah. That. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even, I didn't even feel Fire. it. Fire. Yeah. So so some of those albums are lit. Just my attitude, my egos through the roof, and some of them you could tell where I'm like in the. Yeah. I'm in the bottom, like whatever I'm going through is fucking with me. And I would always record to just like unload, you know, and like sort of like therapy. Y este, and, and, and almost like, you know, like, like, like the natives or just all indigenous people would carve on the rocks. Uh -huh. They left their story. So I was like, man, I'm leaving my fucking story. And, I, and, and then, you know, I always been competitive. So I'm like, man, fuck that. Even though I'm not there, I'm going to make, I'm going to let my presence be known. Yeah, I'm going to flood the game so much. That there's no way that, that that they could, my name could be avoided in a conversation, you know. He, he, and I, to this, I don't think there's no homie that has more albums than me in the in the game or any, over like 100, like 120, 130, like 1500 songs out there. Uh, I just even, even without those all those albums, you still make your mark and you're still making that mark right now. But now and and it's uh, it's it's just amazing all you went through, brother. And the great, the great, listen, the great, the greatest part of the story is that who you become now. Because if this story would have been the way it is and you would have been back on the streets, back in jail, back in nah. that, this story wouldn't be what it is. It's brother. crazy because, you know, I mean, dudes, like my boy from Mexico City, right? I'm trying to get, get it so I could go over there and do a show, right? Right. And he tells me, he's like, he tells me, he's like, hey, and Nessa, Nessa is like G'd up. Mexico City, that, uh -huh. that, that. That area, the Nessa, mm -hmm. savage right there. You know, right there they beat up cops. Or cops are from the gang. Like, it's just, it's just a weird <laughs> like dynamic that, right, right there, right? And, um, and he tells me, he's like, hey, dicen, dicen los compas que por qué ya no te tumbas. And I'm like, hey, wey, tú me miraste allá. ¿Cuándo chingado me miraste tumbado a la verga, wey? Nunca, wey. Yeah, pero ellos, they still have that shady they picture think. from the shady album okay. in their mind. They think you're wearing them Ben Davis and the Stacey Adams y el, y el tandito. They think that's still you. I'm like, fool, you know, you seen me when I was on the run. I look nothing like that. You've evolved. Yeah, and, and, and even now it's like that because homies feel like not, not, not like my homies that I fuck with, they, they know what's up. They got love for me and they understand and everything. But a lot of people, like I told Some this people, fool, do I've seen that? Yeah. Like, like I was telling this fool last time, I go, fool, I didn't get a second chance at life to come back. And become a fucking Raider, Dodger, Laker, Ram fan. Straight Even up. I'm not, not nothing against no, them, I, but I, I respect but, that shit. But, but now, like, look, I just I was in the UK. I just came from Colombia. That's that's the shit I care you, about. You a successful like, fucking artist? You a successful father, husband? I mean, the whole shabam. Huh, yeah. So I rather like after what Mexico did to me. I don't. I almost feel like you're not trying to go backwards. The, yeah, I feel like the world is my home now. That's right. Like, yeah, I got this place one time, and now I, I feel like I could. The, the PTSD, no matter where I'm at. Look, I, I get to London, right? Get to London. I'm in London. Then I'm in fucking a bunch of places in Scotland, a bunch of places in Ireland. Wow. And everywhere I go, I'm just like, I, I, I scope everything out, right? Because I got a boy, he's, he's Irish, right? And this fool's like, his family was, um, come say, I'm on IRA. And, yeah. and he's and like, look, here's a number, anything. You call this number, they already know you're coming. You know, you'll be straight. And um, I'm walk, like, even in Ireland, uh, I'm just like, I, I, I scope everything. I'm like, could I be a fugitive here? Like the fugitive, <laughs> that shit's in me. Then somebody no se me quita, and I feel like, could I make it? How would I make it? If I was in Europe, how can I make it? Because over here, I would stand out. Crazy. Yes. I just came from Colombia. I was in Bogota un mes. And Bogota is like Mexico. You know, y, y, y este, in Bogota, it was because I was over there, and I wasn't shooting every day. And, and the days that we weren't shooting... Uh, we had to go train because we were in a, we were like 20, 30 minutes away from Bogota. It's called Chia because we we're shooting. You're doing a movie out there? Or yeah, something? we just did a movie recently. It's, oh. I think it's gonna be on Amazon because right. Amazon showed up. You to killed the, the you killed that tax collector, by the way. You you kind of stole that show, homeboy. Just let you know. Mm, thank you, thank you. Straight up, homeboy. That was dope, man. Well, that, th well, this one I'm gonna be that same dude again, but different. Colombiano. Que chimba parce. That's I'm right. over here like talking like, like you know like have to. Hey, Shia from the hood, homie. 
Ja. <laughs> yep. That's a real yep. quick yep. comment. Yep. That's a real I quick. put them on. That's Anybody right. Anybody ask, I put that for one. <laughs> <It's the, laughs> yeah, the, so Colombia, I was walking in Colombia because I would walk to the gym. Then I'll go get something to eat. I'll go to the mall, jump in the Uber, doing like, uh, like ex exploring, right? And I felt like when I first got to Mexico, because I was walking. Yes. And in LA, I was driving. I get to on the run, I'm walking. And it's kind of fucked up my ego. All right. Like, and then I'm seeing, you know, fools driving and I'm walking in Mexico. For, I'm like, damn. Oh, bad. This shit makes me feel like nothing. Like, I'm, you know, I don't know. It's just dumb, which is, it, it's not really like that, but we think like that. Like, or. Right. But now you're here with your partner in crime. Yeah, yeah. She's back. She's back on the set. <laughs> Your daughter, your family, uh, dude. More kids, yeah. You're doing it. How is uh how's going on? How's the family, man? And how is it, how do you juggle it, all this? It's man? hard, cause I mean, I love it. It's a blessing because I kind of even that I, I like when I was over there, I just wanted like I would think like man, I need a woman that that is gonna support me, like not trip on my 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 religious beliefs. Cause I'm into all this other, like, you know, I got right. involved with the Afro-Cuban religions heavy in Mexico. Right. That's not going to freak out and that's going to support me and it, that it's cool. I would think this over there, you know, who knows? I, I might've did some voodoo for this shit to happen. <laughs> yes, they say, they say you'd be on that voodoo stuff, but that'd be for, that'd be for uh, our next podcast. Yeah. Oh boy. Yes. The, you know, I, I kind of like, kind of like wanted this to happen. I like spoke it into existence almost, yes. you know, and. But but sometimes it's crazy like you, you, you like what you wish for, you know. Be careful what you wish for because because me I don't toss this those and now it's like uh, they're all in three different schools. I'm running around. I'm dad, and then I still gotta like find time to like handle my business, like business and produce yeah. income, and at the same time try to be creative. So it's like you know, but I'll make it work. You know, so I'm not. I'm not. See, what? that's nothing compared to over there because yeah. over there. I have my back against the wall and I make that shit happen easy. So what's Even though it was hard, I made it easy. What's Conejo uh, doing in the next five years and what's Conejo doing currently as far as projects? Honestly, I think Conejo in the next five years is just going to dip off into writing, okay. um, like you productions. Write a book? Nah, have you written nah. a book of what you did? That's I mean, an amazing story. Eventually. I mean, eventually, I feel like I'm doing or it through my podcast. I think I can play yeah. Conejo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... I feel like um, Mm, just I think just production like producing stuff being behind things and writing like because I already got the taste I wrote on a on, on a series before okay so I, I got to like feel what it feels like and and I like that world and then it's just like everybody's creative and that's why like some fools are like I hear like I heard something like oh nah Conejo ain't on this homie homie capped already I'm on that level that's right fuck you boy. talking about you that's know that's right I'm over here dealing with people you're never gonna get to be around you yes, a sir. rapper that's yes, it, homie. I'm, I'm, I'm more than that. Absolutely. You know, like, I mean, not, not to shit on nobody, but, not. but blessings to everybody, and everybody does the best they can, and that's cool. But I'm, like I said, you're expanding, homie. Huh, yeah, I'm expanding, and I don't, I don't want to be trapped right there. Cause I'm, all, look, I just turned 48. Yeah, fools. I, I've seen sometimes, man. Shut your old ass up and stop rapping. But I got bars for days, and that's just never gonna stop. And, and it's, people and it's, are still coming to watch it. Yeah, and and it's different because I've been doing it, you know. And it's, I don't know. I think some for some, I think it. You know what it is that I noticed that rappers that have a movement go. Rappers that don't have no movement, they're trying gimmicks and they want to pay for a feature mm -hmm. and they're trying to fuck with these. They, they're trying their hardest. They think they're going to get a feature and they're going to hit And, and, and that's that, going to go. Get them. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, in this, in this game, whether it's music, movies, anything, there's no shortcuts. Yes, there's sir. no shit. La tienes que rifar y este, you, you got to work, work hard. You, you got you you to work, work hard. Te la tienes que rifar and, you know, may the guys be with you and... and, and I'm known. Okay. I've been calling Prime every day for the last two weeks. His eyes look beautiful. Let me get a Conejo interview, homeboy. <laughs> it's crazy because, you know, I, I've been, I worked with Prime for like 15 years and I never met him until I met him until I came home. Really? Never met that's him. That's a story in itself. That's never, a... never met him. Nice. Like, like, I, it was, that's for everybody because I would hear all these names. Right. Okay, this rapper, that rapper. It felt like I knew him, you know. Like, but I didn't know him, and now when I meet him, it's like, all right, cool. Right. I met this guy. It, right. it felt right. Honestly, it felt like, damn, it's clear, right? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We got, first, we got to work like this, photo shoot. That's photo, right. The first thing was a photo shoot, and then, you know, we just kept it going. And as a matter of your first video, I was like, he didn't want to do a video. 
And that's the one of I think that's my illest video. It's called <laughs> Semi Automatic. We shot it all in Chicago and New York. That's right. The, even shit like that, like, like a veces pienso like not to give advice to nobody, but I feel like the homies should get out of LA. The love is out there. What's in the box? They they, they don't know. They're, they're the love the, the love is everywhere else. I feel like, and then when you come home, you feel like I get feel like you get embraced and you come back inspired because you experience like right on. like I love New York. Like like New York was always like a like a thought like. Yeah, that's the fucking Mecca. I'm going. I don't give a fuck. E, e, e. And now you go there, and New York is LA in the 90s. Stand all cholo out. Really? Sur tres across their face. Really? Sureño across their neck. All these Mexican gangs. Mexicans are super deep over there. And and we just did we just did a show there like last month. And and it's like there and you, then there's full of bloods and it's full of crips. You thought you were in a, in a, in a time machine back. It's in like the, that. What's that DJ Quick song? It's just like Compton. Yeah, yeah. That's it right there. Uh-uh. It's just like Compton. Wow, I didn't know. Everywhere, that. like in all these cities, because all these cities that we hit, our culture has fucking invaded everywhere. You right. know, like like, and and that's why I tell the homies, get the fuck out. Even if you don't get paid, but experience it. Open up these markets for yourself. It's Open cool. Open up your horizon somewhere. Yeah, and, and you, you never know what's out there. You know, That's you, right. There's a blessing in the cup for you. Well, I want to thank Prime, of course, homeboy. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity because I know you really don't do much of this. You keep your circle very small, and I, I completely understand. I want to thank you, uh, Conejo, for giving me this opportunity, homeboy. It was nah, a great thank thing, you. I, I've been wanting to do it, but we're just waiting for the right time. This like, And it, I think it's, it's perfect. We've been chilling, like... Like, I don't know, it felt right today, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Because in two hours, I didn't even feel it. That, that, that's when you know it's good, oh boy. Uh, I'm just knowing that the, the time's running out, that's why I gotta sit there. That's what happens <laughs> when you shoot in 6K. Ah, and there you go. Esa madre se traga toda la pinche memoria. Pues ahí está, carnal. Muchísimas gracias. And uh, we're gonna do that live next time and, and get it in, homeboy. Oh, appreciate you, my man. Blessings. Thank you. That's right, homeboy. Oh,